standing by for entry interface. And as expected, uh, we have uh, reached a, a loss of uh, telemetry as we enter this uh, brief blackout period. Uh, at the time of the blackout, uh, the flight dynamics officer reported uh, that all of Orion's systems looked perfect. something in the film industry to, to like if you don't have the clapboard so you're editing you see the hands go up and you go oh that's where my cut is that's yeah. where I'll start the movie I, I thought you were just doing yeah. that because I, would, I am a POC you, you were just like clapping for me yeah. <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Stoner Dads dude I don't know that I'm very visible but that doesn't yeah, matter your, dude your hive is true you can see my body and that's all that matters dude <laughs> yeah. this is your aura True. My aura is green. I did see my aura one time. I was really high on edibles. Third person or first person? Uh, no, it was kind of like next to me, sort of. I was like 21. I, I was like learning how to make edibles, so I used to eat like unknowingly probably like 2,000 milligrams <laughs> and just, just literally hallucinate. I would just sit there and just be like, oh, fuck. But the one time I saw like a green glow next to me and i was like oh there's my soul sweet <laughs> you're standing still for six it. hours with like test tubes in your hands dude that's where all my religious beliefs stem from i was sitting on my brother's floor i had a flashlight and i was pretty much doing this i just had a flashlight going around the ceiling like whoa. i turned it off and then looked and there was like a green glow and i was like oh shit dude it's my fucking soul where have you been dude, what is uh how how much time did you have to like observe it seconds dude Oof. seconds what did you what did you like uh gain like, what did you feel from it? What did it... I Dude, I, I think about it still. I'm like, well, at least I saw my soul. That was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's that. There's a whole thing I think a lot of people worry about. Like, what's going to happen? It's like, you know, I saw so my you'll, soul. So you'll be at the grocery store and you'll try to use a coupon and you're like, I'm sorry, that expired. <laughs> you're like, well, at least I saw my soul. <laughs> yeah, for real. Dude, Man. I'm telling you. I've, I've gotten into like Nego spirals before where I'm like, fuck. Yeah. I don't know what's going to happen when I die. Fuck. Yeah. And I'm like, well, I did kind of see my soul one time. So I'm like, well, that's pretty cool. So yeah, I was just wondering if one of those, it was one of those things where it was like a, like a tragic couple of seconds where it was like oh I'm aware of myself, but then it feels like you spend an infinite amount of time just like taking yourself apart. You're like oh no, dude, and you just get True. locked up. That's you're talking that's about a deep you're, level. You're talking about peak experiences. Dude. That's <laughs> I mean, is that, dude, the, one, is that like a clinical term? For one it? peak, yeah, one peak experience can retroactively fill a person's entire life with meaning. So I, I've, I'm deep into logo therapy right I'm now. I'm a survivor. Dude. Is, that, is it good or bad? <laughs> You're a peak experience survivor. Yeah, I, don't <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's good. Do what, you, peak experience? Do you need peak experience they therapy? It bad or good, dude. It's, not, it's just a peak experience. I think I'm having a peak experience. You definitely right are. Yeah, good or Sydney, bad. Yeah, Sydney, you know, is yeah. on mushrooms. Do you mind? We can edit that out. It's not a problem. But you are on mushrooms. I mean, allegedly. Let's be well, honest. I am allegedly on mushrooms. <laughs> well, I am mushroom dance. I am allegedly <laughs> on the most mushrooms I've ever been <laughs> in my life. Hypothetically on the most mushrooms. <laughs> That was a really strong move. Yeah. <laughs> that I will say, that was a very strong move. <laughs> to say, like, I'm just going to do mushrooms and head on down there and see what's up. That's awesome. That's almost like yeah, giving someone a gift. That. Sending yourself somewhere on a big dose of mushrooms, that's a gift to whoever you're sending yourself to. Yeah, it's kind of like sending a puppy, but you're the puppy. <laughs> yeah. It's like gifting someone a puppy in a box. Where you're like, hey, guys. All right, don't let this kill itself. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, I'm very excited right now. Yeah. <laughs> but you can laugh at it. You can laugh. <laughs> I've, no one's ever been Dude, more into the thing you're doing than that, me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go outside, guys. Come on. That would be a sick fucking gift oh, to get it. the industry of human puppies. <laughs> where, like you don't have a dog, we have a human who just completely dogs out for like <laughs> three months. I mean, I'm not trying to get a step on dog girl's toes. Yeah. I'm talking more non sexual. Yeah, just sending a human puppy to somebody. Emotional puppy, not. Yeah, like just someone to like who will just do nothing but stare at you, eat from Whoa, the floor, and then let, if you lay down, they lay on you. That would be <laughs> fucked up. I mean, I think people used like, to people have get these live kind in of... nannies. You could get a live in. Wait, what were we? What were we calling them? Uh, human puppies, but human I, puppies. I think I might yeah. regret this terminology because I think I'm now like, no, people did used to have human puppies. They were called <laughs> slaves. <laughs> <laughs> but 
in terms of getting a live-in nanny then slowly like bending her mind into like the total legacy spiritual of human servitude. puppies in america <laughs> <laughs> What if, yes. what if they never invented the word slave and it was always just human puppy? Tom <laughs> like, Jefferson would look at human this puppy like in school. They didn't Aww. cover this when we learned about human yeah. puppies. <laughs> you imagine Thomas Jefferson with his wife like out in his fields like, oh, <laughs> That's horrible. So, what is puppy play? It is... I got sucked into a racist conversation today without even knowing it. I was on my way here in a uh, lift, and uh, <clears throat> my driver was Latinx. Ooh. I had a fair-skinned Latinx gentleman. He was uh, kind of like uh, putting off like a, like a pit bull. Yeah. He was like 305 for sure. Okay. Light-skinned okay. Latinx. And That's an experience I respect. Oh, dude. Light-skinned Latinx? It's mm -hmm. so fucking sick. I mean, the world's your oyster. <laughs> <laughs> you can openly love Trump. People are like, what kind of rules? Or you yeah. like, yo, fuck this, dude. This is like the worst thing ever. Yeah, you vote for Trump and you love Morrissey. I guess those kind of lined up, but. True. Yeah, it's definitely different energies and they embrace both. True, dude. That's a, that's a strong. Yeah, there's a lot of possible cultural outlets cultural outlets for the, the light skin. They have the, the sickest they have the sickest grandmother culture in the entire world. Like, explain. Like the abuela shit, man. True, dude. Abuela talk is the most jealous I get of any other culture <laughs> yeah. or perspective. In my say like, well, me, if I met yeah. aliens, I'd still be more jealous of not <laughs> like being born into Abuela culture. <laughs> is it that like you can like do anything and be like, like you're cooking? Like, where'd you learn how to cook? Like, oh, my Abuela. Dude, me, my, Abuela. Me, Abuela. Come on. Like, every Sunday we'd go in our kitchen and form balls of masa dough with our hands. <laughs> <laughs> True Abuela culture rules, dude. dude. Learn it like what? Like, there's a day in your life where it's like it's time for you to learn how to make tamales. True. And it's you can base your entire life around that moment. It yeah. Rules. I think that's everyone who has an abuela. <laughs> Fucking miss my abuela, dude. Yeah, black grandmoms are not nearly that exciting. Black grandmoms? They just give you diabetes. They're utilitarian <laughs> black grandmoms. Black grandmoms. <laughs> I'm, I'm a fan. I, I mean, a, like I com black comparatively, I never had a grandma before, dude. All my grandmoms are dead. Yeah, I was born, so I have a black grandmom right now. It's pretty, pretty it kind of rules. A lot of red velvet cake involved in the black. A lot grandma. of a lot of uh, labeling stuff, labeling yeah. and dating, pretty much like everything, which is pretty tight. Oh, you case. have an organized uh, black grandmom. Yeah, dude. Like if you want to wonder when like the tin foil was purchased, it's right there. Yeah, yeah. Right black there. grandmoms can be kind of bureaucratic. Like it's very. True. No, they can. Uh, they have a book. They stick to it. Yeah, they can get very feudal. <laughs> Sometimes they have like full reigns of stuff, and they can. I've 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 experienced like not personally, but I've had people tell me that like the black <laughs> grandma can just like take up, be like literally a feudal lord. They you haven't like you've, you've yet to cross your black grandma. I have no. I have I. That's not been my experience with yeah. my black grandma, but I'm saying I've met people with black grandmas, and they've been like the grandma will come down and like shut the mom. It's pretty wild. Yeah. So, dude, I think I, that, you, was, that was just one person. I don't <laughs> Dude, brief break. This is heavily edited. Edited. Edit that out. Yeah, when I was when I was uh, when I was little, I, I was one of these kids that would help old people do yeah. stuff all the time. So I would like go if their trash cans like needed to be taken out, I would take the trash cans out and then put them back for them and that kind of stuff. And I did that for like a couple years, and and I would always decline their uh, like gestures of like appreciation. Like they would like mm -hmm. want to come in, like bring me in. And like do something nice for me, and then I told my grandma about it, and she was like, "No, let them do something nice for you. Let let them like," go. and then I started like going into their houses, 
in old people houses. Oh, dude. Are, dude, the smell, they're just so hard to be in. I, mean, I stopped doing nice shit for old people. Yeah. Because I didn't want them to thank me. It's like a mausoleum, dude. They're so stinky. Old people's yeah, houses are dude, crazy, it's, it dude. It smells Did like we? the brink of death. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, uh, okay. Yeah, going to an old person's house thing is, uh, an old person's house is like, they should have, a, like, instead of, like, a, like terror behind the walls, you should just let you in, like, an 80-year-old who's been living by themselves. Yeah, yeah, go, go, go help an 80-year-old move an air conditioner real oh, quick. I, dude. <laughs> well, I, yeah. It's terrifying, dude. I had one grandmother. Uh, she's no longer with us. She, her house, when I was a kid, smelled like, I guess, a different – there was two different kinds of old people house. I smelled yeah. one where it was, like, this is old, very old furniture, but it's been well-maintained and cleaned. Nice. And then my other grandmother, you like, it didn't stink, but you could definitely – you, you had clues that someone smoked and owned a, a dog. Yeah, it's not like they shit themselves. It's just like the smell of the, the old house typically stinks, dude. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not like like poop. It just stinks like just like fucking weird <laughs> shit. It's just it's just time, dude. Oh, it's like, yeah. yeah, there's a there's a living person dying in here. Oh, yeah. the cleaner that I they can use smell that like, in the air. They don't make that scent anymore, so it's unfamiliar to you. They're yeah, it's like, place you ever like the it. original yeah, Lysol. Yeah. They, they, they're heavily they're they've heavily, been stockpiling uh, Lysol since they were a kid. There's a lot of chemicals floating around the house. Yeah. Also, too, if you think about it, dude. I mean, all right. So you're born in 1903. That was what, like pre, like computerized car that was like driving in like a 1920 1920s cars looked fucking like advanced compared to 1903 cars so when was the model t invented i have no idea probably like the i, yeah, I feel know. like the 50s the right? 1900s yeah, right? yeah, you, yeah. so you what i'm saying is you're born to, and this has been throughout history you're born and by the time you're dead well i would say recent history because like some people could go like five thousand years with things being the same but now it's like you know, we were born in the 80s. Dude, when we're fucking 90, the world is going to be crazy. Because imagine your grandparents coming into a pre-digital world. Yeah. And then, like, having the internet explained to them at, like, 80. Yeah. Just like, pretty fucked up. What? Well, I mean. 1908 huh? was the Model T. I cannot believe I said 1950 and I told you Wait, both. I am crazy. on the most mushrooms I've ever been on. And you were like, he's got it. Yeah, that <laughs> just like, no, you might have accessed crazy. when the Corvette was unleashed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. I, was I only I fuck I with even, muscle cars. Yeah, I don't even count cars besides Corvette. Only muscle cars. That's sick, dude. I was, dude, just like fucking getting a sick ass car and having that be like. Do you think, it, do you think it. it instantly got you pussy? Or did the hat have to like catch the Model on? Model T, you're talking about? Like, yeah, we're like, was there a chance that like you were kind of like dude. a dickhead if you were getting a car in the beginning and then Big it had time. to catch on? Big time, dude. It would have been like having a robot now. He's like, fuck you, <laughs> fuck you. You could back then, you could have drive a car into a girl and then like get in. She's like, oh, whoa, that's awesome. Yeah. That knocked me like five feet, yeah. sir. <laughs> there were women who fucked feet, dudes mister? who got all around on horses and then also dudes who drove cars in their lifetime that's what i'm saying dude wow yeah some guy had to like they got in a car and like wait where does this car shit and you're like it doesn't they're like what <laughs> this car doesn't shit <laughs> we found out later it's actually the sky <laughs> oh. dude and then it's like you know they're like well how does it run it's like <laughs> gasoline why well, you say kerosene for a while Car probably Probably like riding around in bombs. Drilled out a crude oil out of the middle of the earth and yeah, we find it. Now it blasts us across the fucking roads. Terrifying. I don't know, maybe not. That's a, no, that's a that's a leap that it's just uncomfortable to care about. Yeah, man. I, I just, that's the kind of thing that you know every day. You just ignore it. Well, dude, the, the <laughs> I was reading this thing about an anthropologist, and he was talking about he went to like another island. <laughs> There's a French anthropologist that went to another island and brought, like, the ideas of Christianity. Like, these people n never even heard of Christianity, didn't know what it was. And uh, I think, like, associated with Christianity is the idea that, like, your soul's trapped in your body. So they never thought of they, – they just thought, like, their body and soul was, like, one thing. So these guys brought them Christianity, and uh, they're at, telling the guys, like, you know, how much did – I definitely changed your shit up. I told you about the soul, right? And the guy was like, no, you actually just made me – it fucked me up now because I think my soul's trapped in my body. Like, I didn't realize I had a physical <laughs> fucking body, dude. Whoa. I thought I was just soul material. And now I'm like this weird split in half thing. And Dude, people were like kind of fucked up, dude. I, I don't, <laughs> don't, so like, don't really like that you laid that technology on me. <laughs> so wait, so wait, so wait. Some white guys showed up to a bunch of brown people and were like, yo, did you know? You have a soul inside he your body. He just like the basic properties. And he like was science. like, we're fucking bodies? <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. He called him like science, Christianity, and all this stuff. And they were just like, fuck, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and they were, like, he had like a conversation with a guy who like was there before it and then learned. 
which is kind of like yeah i mean it was kind of it kind of fucks me up to think about it still but like whoa yeah that's terrible yeah, it's that, pretty crazy that is it's also i mean i think like did the did the did the, did the white guy at least like kind of bow like if you if you talk to somebody you you introduce to them in your mind you're introducing to them the idea of a soul being mm-hmm. trapped inside a body and then you find out like no 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 we've been living as souls this whole entire time you just brought up the fucking body idea exactly They're like we you weren't know, even thinking about the body dude i would want to know more about like okay so all right my bad my bad okay so you tell me about the soul you know what i mean it's like they know true but then they say like, it and you're like yeah i want to watch a mumbo jumbo you know, yeah, <laughs> it's like you fucking retards yeah. <laughs> you know, what's crazy is that it's not like it, that's not right what like there's no way to quantify that you have a soul stuck inside but so what i'm saying is that like it's crazy that that's like the point of view that was like, oh, this is the real one. And the other guy was just like, I, is that right? Instead of like arguing like, nah, dude, that's not. I don't have a soul stuck inside. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, but I think they hit him with some science. So I, I think yeah. it it's was like grown ups. Like, it's like, yeah. dude, I think they did like good a thing we showed up like when a, we did. I think they yeah. showed him like a, a soda bottle, a soda bottle volcano with like <laughs> and it foams up, and they're like, all right, we'll fucking, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, a little baking soda. They got dazzled. I think so. I don't know. I should have. There was like a, a thing that explained better how they went about what they were up to. They, they put so a, ma- a matchstick in water and drop some soap <laughs> in there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. To <laughs> but yeah, dude. Um. Welcome to Stoner Dads. Welcome to Stoner Dads. Welcome, dude. Yeah, man. I uh, Oh, dude, I even tell you. So I got sucked into uh, a conversation on the way here by a light-skinned Latino fellow. Oh, yeah. And uh, so we're, we're driving over here, and I was like, you know, let me, let me watch the news. I was watching uh, – Sh- I was actually looking at, like, little news stories. Not going to lie. One of some topics. But all I saw was Shia LaBeouf was uh, accused of beating his girlfriend pretty viciously. Um, you know, which apparently he's beaten allegedly a lot of his girlfriends very viciously. Um, Damn. Even like the one thing she complained about him doing was like driving fast as fuck and be like, say you love me or I'll kill us. <laughs> Classic, dude. <laughs> which, dude, I, dude, I swear that's to God. That's just old fashioned. I that mean, is. it's old fashioned and it's like, I feel like there's a threshold you can cross beating women where it's just like, yeah, that's just me. Yeah. It's this just guy was retro beating, I think from he beat the 50s. A lot of his girl. It was like, yeah. I read the fourth ca- case and was just like, Oh, so this guy just beats his girlfriend. That's just yeah. That's what this guy does. I and mean, he's fucking threatens this her was life. Normal like 60, 70 years ago. <laughs> yeah. Well, in some cultures, it's still Probably. normal today. I don't too. think. I don't think it's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. think it's good, but I think it was normal. I think in Latin, Latinx culture, it's it's very acceptable to beat. No, to to uh, at least um, have your woman declare her love at threat of true. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, women. True. You're know, like yeah. at a, at, a, yeah. at, you know, at a high velocity, you know? Yeah. That's what I think your abuela does. She sneaks you a small <laughs> dagger. You can hold it to your chin. <laughs> if you get dumped, you just hold a dagger to your chin. <laughs> Joselina, I will fucking kill myself unless you say you love me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Damn, like well, I dude. said, dude, a new dimension of racism. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That is a that is a baller move. To Dude, look. if you walk to the back uh, of racism, there's a door. If you open the door and step through it, that's Stoner Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! So I, yeah, so that wasn't well. You know, shout out Shia LaBeouf, dude. I hope you figure out your rage issues, and you know, hopefully you find love. I, you, I, even if you have to drive 100 miles an hour and force it, <laughs> say you fucking love me, we'll die, dude. That's fucking crazy. Do, do you think you think when she was like, "I love you, I love you," and he was like. Thank you. I love you too. Uh, probably chilled. Yeah. Yeah. He was coming home from filming Transformers, which fucking rules, dude. <laughs> Just being like, man, 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 come home. <laughs> <laughs> <Fuck, yeah. laughs> I mean, that's like, that's the least surprising thing ever. Shia like, LaBeouf. That's a, yeah. If if anyone, if, true. I don't know anything about Shia LaBeouf except that's like the kind of person he is. That's the <laughs> one thing I know about him. And people still like fuck him for like six months. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Like you entered a relationship with that dude, and Full then move. yeah, and it's like and you stuck around for a while. Yep. He'll like you'll wake <laughs> up. He's choking you. You're like, ah, god damn it. <laughs> I think that's only famous Boost again. People. If you're if you're abused by a famous person, or it's obvious that they abuse people, that's the people where I'm like, yeah, but you stayed. You know, mm. it doesn't. That's not well, normal people. His la- his latest um, spouse 
or whatever girlfriend slash victim came out and was like, I want to opponent, draw. his latest opponent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh. <laughs> she came out was like, I, I, I how much she weigh? What's what she, what she coming at? What are her stats? It, he was a couple weight classes above it for sure. <laughs> <laughs> she was pretty skinny, dude. So she was moving up, all right? She was moving up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I respected you her. You got to give her credit for that. True. <laughs> True. Yeah. I was like, Mama McGregor stepped up. And yeah, out. dude. All right. She didn't win, but. Uh, but no, she she, uh, <laughs> she was like, I just want to show you guys how it can happen. Like, how it can happen to anyone. I'm like a famous musician. So if I can get trapped in an abusive relationship, you definitely can too. She's a famous mu- musician? Yeah, I never heard of her, but she looks exactly like looks she like a famous Looks like a famous I'll, musician. Yeah, I would give it to her. Even if she yeah. wasn't, I'd be like, you got you can have that. <laughs> uh, you've, you've invested a lot in your look, and yeah. I'm just gonna say you're a famous musician also, otherwise this will be very weird. Like, well, <laughs> not really. Check on Spotify, you have like twelve thousand downloads. Uh. <laughs> Oh, I can get caught. I don't. I don't know. I'm not going to smite her music. I don't know. I don't know her credentials. She got right a lot now. of investors. She's kind of dressed like Lenny Kravitz, so I'm like, yeah, fine, it's cool. Is this what? Is this what we were getting at the whole entire time? No, no. This it's... bitch is not a famous musician. She might be. I mean, Shia LaBeouf dated her. He's high caliber. He doesn't just kick anyone's ass. <laughs> 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 he doesn't just slowly control and beat the shit out of anybody, dude. <laughs> he has standards, obviously. She's some girl who's like, ew, dude. She might actually kick my fucking ass. Ew, dude. There's a covert war going on against masculinity right now that the media and your mama don't want you to know about. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really There's a covert war going on. Welcome to Stoner. Welcome to Stoner um, Thank you. For uh, but no, so, yeah, also, I mean, I was curious, too, how that starts of just, like, just a little, like, like, does it start with, like, an elbow? Is it just all out the box one night? You just wake up and you're just, like. Yeah, you, you got to go out the box one night. And you then can't just, just like, see if they stay. I think you, you got to, like. <laughs> you got to slow cook them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got to step them down, dude. It's, I think you're right, though, because the utter shock could just be, like, that didn't happen. Yeah. If you just came out and just speared her, dude, on her face. Or do you start in your sleep? Where you're just like, oh my God, I was sleeping. I didn't know. Was I, what was I doing? Yeah. I was fucking what pummel- if- I was pummeling you? I was pummeling you? <laughs> what, if you what, if- <laughs> what if your first domestic abuse act was power bombing her through a table? <laughs> Oh, dude. <laughs> Imagine to start to sleepwalk. <laughs> you wouldn't even understand what happened to your body as a woman. You've yeah. never seen a power bomb. I mean, dude, you could if you wanted to kill your wife. I'm not saying, I mean, I, I love my wife, never murder her. But I'm saying if you wanted to, if you started sleepwalking like six, like a year in advance, where you just sleepwalk, you just, but honey, go to bed. Oh, my God. Oh, thanks so much. You could set that up for like three years that you turn around one day and just be like, how do you get it? And just fucking like, <laughs> boom. And be like, dude. Everyone knew I was leaving. <laughs> one. Wait, are you killing your wife with one punch in this story? <laughs> How hard do you think you can punch? Dude, I can definitely you kill, you kill, kill your wife if with I, one punch. If I did a full <laughs> story, you can kill his wife with one punch. You ever see what happens to a woman when she gets contacted? I mean, she explodes dude, on contact. Definitely Women explode no, on contact. Every, no, 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 no. There, every girl that gets knocked out in a fight, she hits the ground and gets right back up, like when you push a cat over. <laughs> I've never once seen a true. woman get knocked out in a fight and do like the fencing response with her arms stuck out. True. It's because true. They, what they're trying to do is go back to a time before they were knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> they hit the ground and rewind back to their feet. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> but that, that's why you got it. That's why you got to go full blast one day because then you can. Like then, in her mind, it was like, "Oh well, I fucked up." Like that, I sh- I gotta I gotta remember he likes spaghetti heated up in a pan, not the microwave. <laughs> you know I what mean, I mean? It could be like a one, a one thing in her mind. She's like, "Oh yeah, I I messed up." I totally lost. I'm I'm imagining something completely different right now. I'm sorry. Yeah, go, you're well, saying yeah. her rationalizing, getting fucking like if you if sauced. you go, if you go if you just go all one day, like yeah. just like instead of like building up to it, yeah, you just like snap one day. Okay, like. She'll be like, oh, shit, I no? fucked up. Oh, if you just fucking spaz? Yeah, if you just power bomb her into a table it. one day. Yeah, it's True. like a phone a friend. You yeah. can only use it one time. Yeah, and you got to cash it in on something like it's a genuine mistake. Not to get, like, super sick, but you have to, like, wait until she makes, like, a genuinely bad mistake. You'd be like, look, yeah. look, that was really annoying what she did there. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's dangerous because then you have to, like, who, that's, who makes the decision? 
Then you have to plead your case. Like, listen, I think you this is team, above dude. the threshold. You need a team. Yeah. Can't go out this alone. You have the guy be like, yeah, it's go time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just a leg shot. Just a leg shot. <laughs> Kenny Park. You need like a panic button? Like, <laughs> like, like. Oh, man. <laughs> Wait, are you, are you saying that he would be like getting like. <clears throat> <laughs> told how to hit his wife for sure i mean you have a team dude if you're gonna plan that if you're gonna ocean like, 11 you're talking about yeah. coaches you have coaches like <laughs> for sure <laughs> go to the body go to yeah. the- all right we got her she's in the bed you can if you, you have, we measured it out you're about 57 feet from the living room if you ran full speed with your weight 184 pounds that's about uh, 2,000 pounds of force <laughs> yeah you need a whole team dude these scientists, you in conclusion, you could not kill your wife with one punch. One punch? <laughs> no, I trust the science. It's possible, it can be done. dude. It can be done. It could be done. There was you, a guy who got one punched trust. and died in the, uh, in South Philly. He was like complaining about someone else's dog, and guy punched him, and he fell and hit his head and died. So you might have to install. Yeah, like, but that's like it's not. It was the probably the fall that killed him. All right, so maybe punch. you got to get you know tile floors, concrete countertops. It's also he probably like re- he realized <laughs> that he was being yeah. he was being yeah. <laughs> 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 Some of the yeah. bayonet yeah. out of the wall. It's like, I'm going to uppercut her. She's going to go through the floor <laughs> down into a pit. True, true. <laughs> if, you sta- if you establish like a Mortal Kombat floor, <laughs> like just somebody <laughs> falling from the speed of an uppercut would break through. <laughs> Fuck, dude. That's how you'd have to do it. Insta- establish a Mortal Kombat floor on the third floor. You go to like you go to that. True. It's like you, a second basement, and, and then to- under that is hell. Yeah. <laughs> So, that's not even what I came here to talk about. Yeah, welcome to Stoner Dads. Welcome to, yeah, welcome, <laughs> welcome back. To Stoner Dads. We're talking about the, the Latino gentleman. Oh, yes. Who was, yes. Um, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> we still yeah, were was, The same that. thing happened we did this last time, dude. It was, it was like Man. wild. <laughs> so, the uh, the Latinx gentleman who was driving me, uh, you know, Pitbull, skin tone, uh, which comes comes into the story. He, I'm looking at the news. That's how I found about Shia LaBeouf. So, I'm seeing that being like... <laughs> Oh shit, dude! Shalabouf did it again. <laughs> I'm like no. So then I'm like, I look down for my phone, and the the guy like I realized he had been stopped while I was on my phone, and he like finally went around the car and went, and he was just like, he said something, some word in Spanish that I think was a bad one. I didn't know what it was because I was just like, he's like ah, ah, ah. I'm like yeah, man, crazy. Because I was thinking about the drivers. What, today. what did the word sound like? I don't know. I don't even know what it was. If I yeah, said, I mean, just close your eyes for a God. second. You're in the you're in the car. And some bad happened, and then he says it. What does it sound like he said? A, a Goomba Roan or something? Yeah, I don't know. Dude. A, I remember it was something. I, I remember my brain going. Like, Goomba Roan is one of the worst ones. To be fair. You're, like a, you're like a racial slur sketch artist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just like, turn around. And I just write down Goomba around. <laughs> Is this what it was? This the bad word he said to you? <laughs> just not. Nah, you don't have to say yes. <laughs> thank you. You were so around, thank yeah. you for your bravery oh, oh, and aiding oh. us in this investigation. No, no, no. Goomba around can't hurt you, man. You're just a Goomba. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Chief's not gonna like this. <laughs> we're looking for a Goomba. <laughs> And that's when he said it. Said what? Goombarone. <laughs> Dude, so he says Goombarone or something. Like, I don't know. I remember, I remember him going, ah, yeah, yeah. It was more like Goombarone. <laughs> so, no, it was, it, was, it, was a, it was a muddled. The dude was a man. Yeah. So he, obviously he's in a you know, traffic situation. It's obviously everybody else's fault. So I'm like driving as today when he like is like, oh, my God, like thank pretty much being like, oh, that was so annoying, whatever I was dealing with. And I was down today when I had to pick up these three black lights down to South Philly for 20 bucks <laughs> off that guy. That's um, the only way you can buy. They don't sell black lights in stores. You have to buy them from someone for 20 bucks. Yeah, dude, yeah for sure. <laughs> for sure. Dude. You got you, you to gotta know a Google like, like, <laughs> Got to go to a Goober Road neighborhood. <laughs> Well, it was so funny because, dude. So on a on a side on another tangent, I was when I was picking up the black lights. I go, I pull up the house in South Philly, and there was a there was a sign that said Black Lives Matter. So I start trying to racially profile who this guy. I'm like, this could very well be a black guy selling me three black lights for twenty bucks. In my head, I'm like, is this a black dude or a white guy selling? Me? I was like, just curious for my own little like racial map. Where you, I'm like, you had like a mental image of, of a black light owner. <laughs> Do you yeah, think exactly. You're, you're like, yeah. you worried it wasn't gonna match. No, I wasn't sure. I'm like, wait, I think I'm at a black dude because I saw the Black Lives Matter sign. I'm like, I guess I could see a black guy selling three black lights for thirty bucks. But I'm like, I thought I was kind of thinking evil hippie. Mm. Um, yeah. Open the door. It was a fucking evil hippie. So I was like, ah, goddamn it, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. Evil oh, hippie man. just is 
like, here you go, man. Ew, who knows what yeah. kind of shit he did? Oh, on they're these so disgusting, brownies. dude. There's yeah, these things don't touch them. Ew, dude. Yeah, they're they're grimed up. They're pretty nasty. So that's cool, actually. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know how they got this dirty or what he was doing. This, but. this is exactly how like your older brother has this shit. And yeah. this yeah. is exactly how the condition his would be in. He so probably that's, that's came on them. That's probably all he did. <laughs> yeah. Just come on them. It's just like a. It looks like a. I think there's a layer of keef on these. <laughs> yeah. Like a, we gotta like we, we gotta esca- excavate them. There's probably more light underneath this layer of yeah. keef. Yeah, there's just like a film of just like fallen dabs of just like the all. It just they're like this greasy. is like this is it's the type of dude that like friends older sisters are always dating when you're growing up. Oh yeah, this. Friends, older people's what? Friends, Hold on, I think friends, I that. I older sisters it. date these types of dudes. Yeah. When you're a kid. Yeah. 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 This and guy always for sure, hundred percent. I can verify that. I knew somebody. Who they did. act like he like acts cool around kids. Yeah, I mean, I was <laughs> open the door to a white guy with dreadlocks and was like, <laughs> I can't stop thinking about how like systemic when you were like wondering if he was a black guy. Yeah. Like the idea of it being systemic and that black people can only use black lights. And sell black lights. That'd be pretty sick. Oh, if they were, oh, dude. Because like, it kind of tracks. It's probably right? would turn things around. People are like, hey, yeah. that's unfair. Yeah, because then like white yeah. people use it to seem cool. You know yeah. what I mean? It's still, yeah. it's still tracks. Well, there's like, uh, uh, you don't know this, but you, <laughs> there are like different uh, light bands on the spectrum that only human puppies can see. <laughs> 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 well, history lesson for you guys. Dude, that's why that. human puppies make so much <laughs> club music. <laughs> they love the club. True. Human puppies love yeah. the club. There's dog whistling and human puppy lighting. <laughs> That'd be funny to do a uh, like a diversity talk somewhere and just like <coughs> set up like a bunch of crazy stereotypes about black people that just they're like you guys strictly use black light like yeah. yeah yeah we don't really talk about it because you know how you guys feel about that you guys yeah. Can judge us but yeah we're strictly black light now. strictly black light strictly black light like damn dude they would have a uh, that's why we're so good at dancing <laughs> we can't stop dancing in black true, light true dude well. Either way, so I leave this gentleman's house, and, uh, you know, so I go, oh, white guy, hmm, all right. It was, it was just, I was, like, curious. I was like, whoa, dude, I wasn't, I didn't think a black dude was going to be selling me three black lights right now. I don't know why. It just, like, threw me off. This is, I, this is the most confused I've heard you about race ever. Mm-hmm. Of all well, the wild it, shit that you said jokingly. Well, yeah. let, let me, let me ask this you this. Is, to me, the most wild uh, racial thing. Did the prices jive with you when you thought it was a black guy? Did you were like, man, if this... He, like, I well, thought he'd be I able to get me more. He'd get more, he'd get more money out of me. guy being into a black light vibe. I don't want to. No, no, not at all, dude. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Dude. Whoa, yeah. dude. What did I say I was basing this off of, dude? Big takes the basement. Come on, man. Uh-huh. Pay, pay fucking homage, dude. Yeah. No, my thing. I was like, who, when I was driving over there, I'm like, who's selling three black lights for twenty dollars and why twenty dollars? I'm like, what? What the fuck's going on here? So I was trying to puzzle out, like, who the fuck's selling these things? And I just assumed it was an evil hippie. Mm. I got to the house and went. I think a black dude selling these things. I went, huh. And then it was a fucking evil hippie. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like an evil hippie it was, or it's not like a huge regular thing black guy. On. It, was just a, it was a thought that passed that I kind of caught and was like, huh. You know yeah. what I mean? Surpri- it surprised you that you felt it. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. I'm just like like knowing that you have such an extensive history dealing with varieties of black guy. I'm curious which one was going to be selling you Oh, the helium bouncer. One. Helium yeah. bouncer. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly thought, I was like, is this where the helium bouncers dude. live? <laughs> that's like, that's when anime black dudes become jocks. That's the kind of dude you get. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That, if you don't know what a helium bouncer, that's the comedy club in Philadelphia. And uh, yeah, it's like. It's Shout out, Justin. For sure. Yeah. It's yeah, black yeah. dudes who get like so far into anime that they pursue karate <laughs> in real life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah it's pretty nuts dude so yeah they so got cool. they had the sickest fucking hiring pool helium helium bouncer pool was fucking nuts for a while yeah yeah, yeah it's always dudes here it's like they're not, they don't look muscular but they look strong yeah <laughs> like big like uh i don't know like cow strength yeah you know for yeah for sure yeah that's true bouncers look like power lifters a lot of the times uh always very happy to see you Mm-hmm. Which is true. Why you love them? And uh, I don't know. Some of them have like long fingernails. <laughs> true. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool. Like, yeah, that's pretty neat. Yeah. It's yeah. funny. Yeah, yeah. A lot. Some like I, this is gonna make no sense at all. But some of those helium bouncers, you know, because they wear the black black shirt, black pants. Yeah. It seems I feel like some of them just exactly the same when they're not being helium bouncers. Oh, for Definitely, sure. Dude. Dude. You know. Yeah. Yeah, that's playing Xbox wear. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Mm-hmm. We can agree on that for sure. 
Dude, so I'm just- He spoke to Noah, and Noah stopped his bed. Driving in the car. I'm with a guy. Oh, fuck, yes. I'm with a guy. Welcome to Stoner Dads. Yeah, dude, welcome back. Welcome. Dude, we're back. So I'm with, I'm with this guy, and I'm looking up at the Shia LaBeouf stuff, and he goes, <laughs> and he's like, oh, blah, 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 Gubaron, or whatever he says. <laughs> Don't even hear him say Guberon. I had a racially charged day, dude. I don't know who was buying black lights off. Guberon. So I, I... God, we can bleep those out. We can bleep, bleep out the Guberons. I don't know what the fuck you was saying. So we don't get fined or so, whatever. True. So, he, so, dude. So then, oh. he... Uh, so he's like, oh, man. And I'm thinking like, oh, yeah, I, I was in a, drive, a frustrating drive, driving situation today earlier. So I was like sympathizing with that. I was like, yeah, man. I was like, Jesus, dude. Yeah, dude. I was, it was crazy today. Like thinking in my head about Center City, how I got stuck in traffic for like yeah. 10 minutes. And he's like, yeah, man, crazy. Yeah, they, they are crazy. And I'm like, oh, shit, fuck. I think he's talking about a specific type of, of people. And I was like, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's been pretty bad. You know, the driving has been pretty bad. He's like, yeah, man, black women. <laughs> Black women, dude, they drive so fast, man. The, listen, <laughs> like, fuck. the but worst then, drivers but, on the but, planet. But that was the thing. I'm like, oh shit, I'm in a racist conversation. I'm like, fuck. But then I was also in a car with a black woman <laughs> just before I got done. Yeah. And I was like, but I was more so suffering a, a black woman passenger, which I think is just a woman passenger. <laughs> Yo, uh, black black women she was, drive. Like, aggressively driving in the passenger seat. I'm like, dude, I'm not passing. <laughs> yeah, dude. Just go, just fucking go. Oh, go around this truck. I'm like, I can't fucking fit. She's like, oh yeah, you can. I'm like, dude, shut the fuck up. Uh, yeah, you, you caught yeah. this. Black black women drive the same way black women work at fast food places. <laughs> <laughs> Please elaborate. <laughs> Uh, here, here, here we go. Here we go. Right. <laughs> so again, let me let me re, let me restate my thesis. <laughs> black women drive the same way black women work at fast food places, which is fuck all the white people at this job. <laughs> fuck all these white people. Fuck all these white people on this road. <laughs> that would make sense. Why every time I order fucking, I go to fast food. I, by the end of it, I'm like, here's your change. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here, fuck yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah, fuck, all these. <laughs> fuck Sydney. <laughs> you may have unearthed the jewel. I think so. I think <laughs> you unearthed the jewel, man. It was like, that was, let's welcome Ooh. the Stoner Dads. Welcome. Oh, we're here to unearth some jewels. Welcome. This, this, is, Mar- this, is, Mar- Mar- this is Mario, Mario jewel. We're going to start for real. This is Mario, <laughs> too, dude. When you can pull the shit out from the ground. <laughs> fuck, man. <laughs> Oh my goodness! This is the pal block every time, <laughs> dude. I just, yeah, like, I'm just wiping tears out of my eyes this whole entire time. Well, that this was fucking the, I, insane. That was the uh, that was the conversation. I was like, "Fuck, dude, this guy's being racist right now." And I was like, "I don't want to be rude." <laughs> it's like, you know, like this guy's fucking been really nice otherwise. And he was like, he didn't say anything bad. He was like, "Man, black women drive very fast." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, they do. I can attest to that." And they always got like, like, um, excuse me, Jose. I got cut I off by like four, as I lectured him, I yeah. got cut off by four more black women. I was like, okay, Jose, this is a crazy, crazy thing that's happening. It has nothing to do. <laughs> Another, okay, you know what, Jose. <laughs> yeah, you should have stopped them immediately. I mean, like, I'm not going to let you talk about my black queens like that. True. Even though they all have a yeah. dent in the front driver's side of the car <laughs> from aggressive driving. <laughs> that was not their fault. Somebody stopped, Jose. Yeah, the um, it was funny. It was funny to get caught up in that, and then to try to rationalize it, being like, "Well, technically, we're having like more of a conversation about physics, it's like speed, distance. It's like black women times speed yeah. times temperament. <laughs> yeah. Just another variable: time, speed, force, yeah. cranium shape. Oh, yeah, like man. that kind of stuff. That's all we're talking about. <laughs> energy, energy equals <laughs> Nissan <laughs> times <laughs> force times speed." <laughs> Divided by black women squared. <laughs> oh, fuck. True, that is yeah. a factor. Yeah. <laughs> you need to do like a di- yeah. like a Da Vinci diagram of like the angle of the seat. It's like, well, how far <laughs> how far the seat's <laughs> Although I feel like black women don't typically Very, t- very good posture seat. Yeah, I was about to say, Those black women typically are, are riding 90, dude. 
Yeah. That's something they I hunch. Noticed. That's yeah, like that's why black men we tilt our seats back because we're trying to differentiate ourselves. True, you, you know, because it's like back. yeah, we're like no, we're not them. I want it, dude. I want it so hard to be comfortable with my seat super far back, but it just feels like a strain on my stomach when I do it. Yeah. Like, there's been like because you're not fully relaxed. There's a true. You have to relax your yeah. core. Too. You don't. You don't have the, the extra muscles in the core. The extra muscle, the extra dude, muscle yeah. for black people is in the I, lean. I like to let yourself settle into the seat because you're like you're like if I lean back too far, I won't be able to see the road. But you can if you just get it to the correct angle and fully relax your core. Yeah, <laughs> he's trying to not slip out of the seat. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I, that's been something I've been like. No, I, I can lean. Lean back and I lean back and I'm like I'm not comfortable I'm not comfortable like this oh man and I just sit I'm like let me go back another notch and I'm like nah man I like to be up high and tight on the seat dude right it's, at, it's right so funny to imagine everyone you've ever seen drive slow lean back their whole time they're just thinking about how uncomfortable it is and they hate it <laughs> that guy looks so fucking cool he's just like fuck man fuck dude my stomach's oh on my fire God. dude <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you a lot of black people always have thick abs. Skinny black people true. that lean back in their cars, yeah, they true. always have abs for a pe- no reason at all. Driving abs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can bring this mic up to me. Mm. But yeah, no, I uh, I've tried. That's something I've been like. That'd be something I can incorporate and be like, no, it's just I just lean back a little, guys. What the hell? Yeah, I mean, don't judge me. I'm yeah. just leaning back. I always drove like that'd this. That'd be a bold move. Yeah. That'd be a bold. Th- I think if almost any. Definitely you two. Almost any grown man in my life, if they suddenly started leaning back in their car, I'd be like, what are you doing? <laughs> well, it's what also, is, who do you think you are? Well, as a white male, what, what, what is the like, acceptable degree, would you say? I don't What's know. What's the acceptable? Dude. Are you talking about like between, between 93 almost and 87? Acute. acute yeah. <laughs> You're driving, dude. Be True. in an aggressive position. No obtuse. You need a strong True. base. I don't want you fucking in a neutral or weak position while you're driving. The cops pull you over, you just go. <laughs> <laughs> you just set your airbags off. Mm. Were you leaning back? Like, no. no. Oh, I could have sworn you had 130 oh. degrees there. <laughs> nah, nah. Obtuse angle? <laughs> no, no, no way. <laughs> nah, officer, I kill my abs. Yeah, I wonder how. I'm, I can get like, I think, two clicks before someone is like, what the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, I'd be like, are you injured in some way? <laughs> do you, yeah, you, like, you have like a hip cast that's making you sit this <laughs> Yeah, you would definitely need to be like, like if you had if you, you would have to have a do rag on to be able to pass. True. Dude. As a white guy with a seat lean back. True. I could start sagging too, which is something <laughs> yeah. if I started sagging, dude, that'd be so fucking I up, could up your, you'd have to up your box. As a game. fashion statement, I could yeah. sag and be like, no, I just you know. That'd be cool to be known for all your, your funny boxers <laughs> right now. I've seen I've seen people like say I, I this is something I was talking about. It's funny I was talking about this on Romas. It's like as a as a dude, you have to stop being cool in order to be cool as you get older. Totally if, agree. You know what I mean? If you try to be too cool for too long, it inverts on you. But if you like let go of coolness, it, you just it, you lose it for like five years or so, and it goes and it you, fly flies back onto you. You're giving away the secret right now. True. No, they still won't be able to do it. What? Let go. Of the it's, cool? it's it's hard to let go. True. It's hard. It's hard to let go. Or of the if you control. never had the cool, then you just turn into an old nerd, which be like, must be like. Yeah, I dude. actually, I, you know, I don't. I would never even. I don't even think, in those terms. You know what I mean? What? Of uh, I, I don't. I don't. That's cool. The cool, not cool binary. That's you know cool. What I mean? <laughs> no, that's cool. That's just, just cool. that's just a natch. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I understand the frenzy it causes in in people in their secret hearts, and I just, uh, you know, I'm above it. Kind well, of. I, I used to have people. Hit me with like, uh, like oh man, you, you look like a, you're just like a dad. It's like yeah, dude. If I dressed cool right now, five years I'd be like ridiculous. Yeah, is that your response? That's your you get a lot of feedback about that. I did ori- originally yeah. when stand up, people would say that, and I'm like, dude, I'm I was, at the time I was like, I'm 33. I'm like, dude, grow the fuck. Like what the what do you what should I be wearing? Like skinny jeans or something? Dude? Yeah, it's Matt like, dressed like a black nerd. <laughs> <laughs> He was always in like sweatshirts that were like too boxy and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like kind of draped on my hands. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's something I think you got to do. You got to fully let go. I might start wearing Guy Harvey like open back fishing shirts, dude. Just get like ahead of it. <laughs> just get, like, dressing like I'm a 60 year old man. <laughs> dude, that would be so fucking sick, dude. Just like, nah, there's no point of waiting. Yeah. Sketchers. Elastic <laughs> jeans, a fucking Guy Harvey shirt. You know what I'm talking about? They have the open the back. back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, open back and get hot and just ventilate a little. Dude. <laughs> fucking so sick. 
Damn. Skechers. You smell like stuff when you wear that. Like you, you smell like either like, I don't know, boat gas. True. Or, or like I think in, in the pocket you have like they have like a thousand little slips of paper and you pull them out and it's like a story about a store you were just at. You're like, dude, I was just down <laughs> over that coals over there. Dude, I'll tell you. <laughs> got these cargo shorts twelve dollars yeah. <laughs> every time i see someone who's like 60 they tell me about a store that dude you ever been down to that costco <laughs> how do you like that cake that's some costco <laughs> yeah. that's some costco yeah that's the 12 bucks that would have cost you 37 dollars at acme you know, that, like, that's a big move for dudes who were like all about motorcycles when like uh orange county choppers and shit came out but never owned a motorcycle like they wore motorcycle t-shirts and shit, rules, but dude. never had a bike. That's who those dudes are now. Ah, shit. Yeah. <laughs> You're saying who went too cool? Yeah. 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 Like they, they took a shortcut and that's where that's the, that's the, like the pitfall. Like when you take the shortcut to just being the, the t-shirt motorcycle guy without like hmm. owning the bike or like ever riding one, you know what I mean? That's like the ultimate, the dude just identified something cool and attached himself to it. So you overshoot that, and then you end up in dickhead territory. You got to cop a bike at some point, dude. I'm talking about two different things. I'm talking about people. Well, yeah, I guess you're right. I'm thinking about being fashion cool. Because if you're fashion cool, that at a certain age, same thing. That's, yeah, that's fashion that's cool. And then, yeah, it's just twisted True, in a different right. directions. Instead of fashion, you're like I'm. In, I'm, in a motor, I'm into the idea of motorcycles. Yeah, that would be pretty sick though. If someone could just own that, and be like, dude, I'm just really into the idea of motorcycles. Yeah, but what, it, it, I love the gear. Also, too, I love the the with the right people, riding. that's fashion cool. You know, like right. Oh, yeah. Harley shirt. Yeah, people put on yeah. a Harley shirt and they're like, let's go. My step my stepmom's yeah. in a biker gang. <laughs> really? <Yes. laughs> that was like when I was 14, and if I got a Bud Light shirt, I'm like, Pfft. people Damn, gonna know dude. what the fuck I'm about, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Bud Light, come on! How do I even get my hands on this dude? I'm 14. <laughs> yeah, they just ride. They just ride sick bikes around Reading. Uh, uh, know about beer? Yeah, I have a beer T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I have four beers under my bed that I've been saving. <laughs> so you're talking about she's in a motorcycle gang? Yeah, they got like leather vests and shit that all match. They have yeah. like, a, like their logo on it. And I, they, I, th- I think it is. I think it's kind of uh, is there, disappointing. Wait, is, it a, is it a black chick bike gang? No, nah, it's like a. Uh, I guess ethnically mixed in uh That's no good. It's also co ed. It's a co ed. It's a co ed. Yeah, that's a bad it's sign. Co ed. It's a co ed bike gang, yeah. What? That's a bad yeah. sign. It's it's just it's just sons of unity. Basically <laughs> it's basically just like like people over fifty that like fucking hot rods and bikes. Oh. And they just ride around loving bikes. No, that seems too obvious. I think they're at, they're probably act like that and they're probably yeah, the, secretly the most they're wild. They're all that guy yeah. who owns the chicken place from Breaking Bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's wild as fuck. Dude. I mean, I can see it. My stepmom, she was she was wild back in the day. My, my stepmom and my mom are like two sides of the same coin. Like the black side and the white side. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, they're very similar. Uh, very, very similar and very different at the same time. But they're they're both wild. They were both wild women. Huh? That'd be a, that'd be great. Like, I don't know. Uh, I had a, it's so stupid. I was just imagining cartoons. <laughs> like that's that's always like the classic. Like, yeah, having having two moms, like a black mom and a siblings, mom. and one of them's like ultimate powerful in one direction. You know what I mean? Yeah. God, I love that kind of shit. But I'm know, lost. You're I talking just, about like an archetypal, like mom who's a good what? I, what? Well, he's he's breaking down a lot of things. On yeah, what the hell are you talking so about? Yeah. yeah, so yeah, your mom, and your yeah. mom and your sister being like my mom, my mom, my I mean, your step mom and her step mom, yeah, yeah, step-mom and that, yeah, yeah. Sister. Said they're two sides of the same coin. Yeah, different. they're like the they're like the good guy and the bad guy in like the cartoon that like have the opposite powers and yeah, they got a showdown. Really? Yeah, yeah. They were they weren't they weren't showdown though. They they would like show up. With each other and then they like get up. banned from places. Banned. Really? <laughs> oh, they team they with their powers combined. Yes, oh, their powers cool. combined. You guys understand what I'm saying now? It's pure uh, chaos. Yeah. Deep into it. We're we really have the like the whole yeah, sure. the whole fucking cartoon is us trying to keep them away from each other. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's sick. They just power they power that, up and it's it's over. Yeah, that's it's over. authentic black anime. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. It is. It is. They they do. They're these they're because they used to when they were young, they used to grow like they came up. As friends, they were they would jump people together. Nice. So they're like, you know, when they like when they jump people now, they're like, <laughs> good to see you again. <laughs> 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 well, imagine you'll never change. 
Imagine, dude, that'd be wild if you're a dude. And like, <laughs> it's like, like they just show up like on either side fighting a guy. <laughs> like they like didn't even know you were here. It's just like, <laughs> yeah, this is the say. Black Double Dragon reboot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how they met. They were both on one side of a guy fighting. Yeah. <laughs> now they they made it black women in Double Dragon now for 2021. They just go ass to ass. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, my my uh, my my stepmom is a white lady. What? Oh yeah, all right. Yeah, cool. she's a she's, a, like she's a blonde hair, really she's a blonde hair, white Billy lady. and Jimmy vibes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Their names are still Billy and Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm also thinking. I'm just thinking about the dude. You have to be like. Imagine if your ex started pounding around with your current bay. That's a that's a mind. Well, so you oh, you mean like from my dad's perspective? Yeah, yeah. Well, it was it was not that way. It was like, so my he was with my mom first, and then got with my stepmom but my mom and my stepmom were friends before Damn. my dad came into the picture this is like the after of like she he's she stole my husband like in the movie yeah this it is was, just like a movie dude yeah it was more right. like i think it was more like um my mom so then they like split apart because of moving and shit uh my, my mom and my stepmom were talking about but then like my my mom got with my dad and then stopped being with my dad and my stepmom got with my dad so it was more like you didn't tell me not to be with him more than like you stole. Oh, it's so dramatic. You know what I mean? It was oh, like, it's more like, how did you let me get with this motherfucker? I wonder what that conversation was like. Yeah. It was probably, I mean, just so, so grim. Dude, they would just like, every time, so every time um, I would get dropped off, like they would like hang out and talk for a little while beforehand yeah. and they would just talk shit on my dad. That's all they did was just like, he does th like this, he still does Imagine this. Imagine a three-way phone call, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Two, just like, look, and you're like, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a lot, dude. Yeah, handling multiple, I don't know how people did that, man. When they would have like, like Mormons have like multiple wives, that, that would just be turned into like a fucking hall of mirrors after a while. Just going to one yeah. room, going to another one, get your head warped again, being like, wait, what? But, I mean, you got to keep them separated. You gotta keep the women separated, or they will fuck. Like women cannot, not try to rise up against the man. Hmm. So if you put, if they start talking to each other, eventually, I mean, they'll do something. They'll kill you. They'll murder. They'll do something. You to think you. They'll murder. They'll, you? they'll start plotting against you immediately. You think like the more women in one space, the more evil the plan is concocted. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm gonna go with those numbers. What do you think? My my dad married two crazy women. Really? Yeah, but so my dad was I was the opposite of that. My dad uh I was from the second wife and both just maniacs. Like really? as crazy as women get. What? Yeah, not just like what a real bitch, like absolutely and like it was back in the day, so it was like they didn't but people didn't care. They didn't yeah, have the internet. They like, would just uh, be like, shut up. I actually uh I I struggle uh with mental illness and like yeah. you weren't on NPR for it back then. Yeah, you're just lit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were just popping yeah, off the blockbuster. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel right, and I don't know what the fuck this is, and you're just yeah. fucking going. Yeah, it's pretty fucking nuts. So what? Why? How did he have the opposite? He had two bitter enemies. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he he was the man dealing with the two crazy women instead of. Uh, Dude, my dad had it so fucking dad, easy. He really? he had it so like as far as that stuff is concerned. He had it so easy. Like, I mean, he. he no, wait. It's the same. It's the same situation. I'm yes, sorry. That's what I'm saying. I didn't I'm mean waiting. to say opposite. I meant to say same. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, am, I was like, was he? I have, dude. I thought he was calling them and motherfucking like, them at once. I was like, no, Damn. no, no, no. It was the opposite. <laughs> yeah. I was like, <laughs> like, was just like I was, yeah, I was explaining it completely <laughs> yeah. wrong. Hold on, hold on. No, <laughs> no I'm totally retarded. Hold I, on, I forget which crazy bitch I'm talking to. Okay, what did you break? <laughs> it's like, what did you set on fire? I, my, yeah. I feel like I've advanced my CTE tonight. You think so? Definitely. Yeah. I definitely have. But yeah, dude, that was the uh, that was the ride over here. <laughs> <laughs> that was my ride over here. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Thought dude. about it. <laughs> Thought about it. <laughs> that ruled. I was uh, like, that was the best anyone's ever told me a story. Come on, that was pretty good. Yeah. Pretty wow. Good. Thank you for that. Oh man, absolutely wonderful. <laughs> can I, I'm just I'm checking the time just so I can go ahead. Hiding stuff online would be sick. And then people obviously can share <laughs> yeah, the link. Not gonna have, there, it's not gonna, there's not going to be a title or description on YouTube. What? Yeah. How would you even find that? <laughs> exactly, dude. You have to put something. We, I don't well, think they won't let They, they won't find wait. out how to find it from us. 
Fuck. That's the thing. Fuck. And then it's just word of mouth. But we, I don't think we directly tell anybody. Oh, God, how sick would it be? We had to no drop one hints, ever dude. saw this, and we refused to just give it away. <laughs> how fucking like like sick would that be? Like that one Wu-Tang album? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, don't, we end up selling this to Mark Martin Shekel. <laughs> the guy who like fucking Martin out. Shekel who was that guy who was like Skelly or Skrelly Skrelly yeah, yeah. Martin Skrelly Martin Skrelly Martin yeah. Skrelly Martin Martin Shekel. 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 <laughs> we're back <laughs> we are back <laughs> those names that Martin Goombarone <laughs> <laughs> oh no I can't believe I stood by I just made a bleep me. sound with my mouth that was um, Goombarone yeah. Goombarone <laughs> <laughs> Well, what's funny? The guy, the guy, legitimately was just like, "Man, black women drive so fast, man." And then he, I didn't even know what happened, but he was like, uh, "Should I make a?" I thought he was saying, "Should I make a U-turn?" I'm like, "No, don't make a U-turn, dude. It would take me back to my house." I'm looking at him like, "No." And he's like, "But he was telling me a story. I think the lady had busted an aggressive U-turn and it set off this Latinx gentleman." He was like, "Oh, yeah. dude, fuck." I get it, man. No matter what a black woman does on the road, she always treats you like you cut her off. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. very frustrating. No, there's definitely that's uh, I've definitely gotten some battles with especially um, Muslim black ladies driving. I've got I've battled like dude. I've been chased by one before. I'm not gonna like <sighs> chase on Kelly Drive high speeds. Yeah, we exchanged taunts and then she fucking I was like fuck this and she like was coming up on me so I fucking gunned it and we like raced down Kelly Drive once we got into Center City we got that light uh, right where it pours off onto the parkway <laughs> and we both just looked at each other and we're like. And just drove away. That's the only time a woman is scary because yeah. she has a vehicle. It's she, like it's and like neck fighting and a veil. Yeah, it was, it was like Ford Explorer, right. dude. She, I had a little my little you know. So you can't even Honda. get a read on her. Like you can't even kind of like make out what kind of person she, she called is me in a your white head. piece of shit. We were yeah. driving yeah. like you fucking white piece of shit. And I'm right, like, fuck you, bitch. And she was like, <gasps> she was pissed. She's like, how dare you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. fucking yeah. And then, they, and then yeah. you like mutually parted ways. Like when you both realize that. You know, from a distance, nobody can really tell who the Gumbron no. is. <laughs> true, true. I, in, I in a, uh, you know, my answer to she was like, "Fuck blah, blah. I was like, "Well, I'm gonna drive as fast as I can right now." And she was yeah. like, "Well, so am I." She's like, "I'm not gonna let you win and fucking beat me in this race." Yeah. So we just fucking raced <laughs> out of like, anger. Yeah, it was you, tight, dude. What, what, what car did you have back then? I had Honda Civic. It was the one that got totaled <laughs> wow. by somebody That's hitting a real own car. Yeah. This is actually this is what this is controversial, and you're not even supposed to say this, mm-hmm. right? Because it's like, I, I'm not saying something racist. I'm saying something like against racism, but they still don't like it. But I think Goombarones come in every color. 100%. You know 100%. I mean? yeah. 100%. They, yeah. they hate it when you say that, but it's one of those things that's true anyway. That might be the cure to invent new slurs that like trans, like more inclusive slurs. Trans inclusive slurs. Yes. That's, I, that's a good I, idea, I've been dude. Try, that's all I've been trying to do. Dude. That's all we like like Anthony and I have been trying to do. Yeah. Trying to dude try to invent new slurs. That's definitely Goomba Universal Rone. slurs. Yeah. yeah. People there you, be people like we can't have universal like, like economists, like we can't have a one world government, dude. Yeah. <laughs> we can't have universal <laughs> slur economy would be destroyed. <laughs> oh, it's dude. the Bitcoin. Goombarone is the Bitcoin of slurs. True. True. <laughs> it's disruptive <laughs> slurs. Fucking Goombarone. People are like, whoa. Yeah. Which is that one? You're like, yeah. It's everybody. Yeah, so Bezos. It's when gonna, I want to say the Bezos other ones. I just say this or, one. <laughs> yeah. or uh, undercut us. We're yeah, I think that's what it is. I think it's like well, when I when I want to say one of the bad slurs, I think about how you know what every race has some guy like that, and then I say Goombarone. Yeah, and then I pop a Mentos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <do> you- <laughs> oh, that'd be a sick commercial for Mentos. Rather than like screaming out your car a slur while someone does something, you're like. <laughs> like the freeze frame was like, nah. <laughs> like a Snickers, a Snickers commercial. The guy's no, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> you <Gimbarone? laughs> If everyone in Mentos commercials was interrupting saying the N word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. That would be weird if that was what happened. I mean, it'd be. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. Be I tell you what, I wouldn't buy any more goddamn Mentos. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, this advertising campaign doesn't appeal to me at all. Yeah, is... I'm shutting this off. They're exploiting a fucking underrepresented community. So. Of, I never of, of what, white N word sayers? But... <laughs> the community of white N word sayers? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't agree with those Mentos. Brother, when they meet each other, they're like, oh, sweet. Brother. <laughs> Nobody says it anymore. Brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not all white people. 
that's like the joke, right? That all white people like they check to see if you, you can say N word with each other. Like, <laughs> ha, 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 that's very funny. That's not true, but there are definitely dudes who are like trying to see who's good with the N word. Dude, I've had people on yeah. construction sites hit me up for sure, or, or like they would corner me because I was in the oh, labor yeah. union. So like it was for the most part, it was me and a bunch of black dudes, and then like there would be a white laborer. Not all the times, yeah. but like a couple times they come up and they get you and them alone. They're like, "Are you working with all these motherfuckers?" And they yeah, start dude. like going on these hard, and you're just like. Whoa, and every dude. every time the first time uh, one of those dudes says the n word to you, mm. they they kind of pause for a second, almost like it's not long, but they're like they they drop it and then you know they're reading you. They're waiting, and it's like they just gave you a gift and they want to see a reaction. <laughs> like, did you open it? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of me? <laughs> Give it a listen. Let me know what you think. Oh, dude, it's very quick. They condense that feeling into like a very brief. Yeah, it, it, there is a. Uh... This guy, actually, I didn't like this guy at all. And I, I definitely uh, I made him. I was like, I used to fuck with him all the time. He, he said, the first time he was like, he didn't hit me with the N-word, but he hit me with like a, I forget what the word was, but he was like very not pleased with working with a bunch of black dudes. And the guy I would work with all the jobs. I think jobs, I know what the word was. <laughs> I, I swear it wasn't. He didn't hit me. Yeah. I forget what it was. It wasn't, it wasn't the N-word. It w- and it wasn't Goombarone? It wasn't Goombarone. I don't know what it was. was. But he, I feel uh, like on, on construction sites, uh, like construction workers – or a big fan of the uh, porch monkey, something like that. Yeah, yeah. he was Italian too, so it yeah, yeah been they something love up, yeah. something like when they say him like one of those like words in cursive, like a porch monkey. No, yeah, no, they yeah, still yeah, say yeah. like Mulian. Yeah, shit like, shit that. like that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he came up and there, the one guy. Uh, Wait, can you say that? No, dude, you can't say that. All right, unless you're Italian. Like no, even you, you know, just you know. If you're Italian, I think you can. But the the point of the story That's was right. the guy trapped me in kind of like a brother. How will you handle this? And there was <laughs> the, dude, the dude that I was cool with. Uh, me and him had a, a sick business arrangement at the time where, like, he would, like, sit, what, I'm not he would say the N word and I would pay him five dollars. <laughs> no, 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 no. I had, like, this, I had this, like, little construction site MIDI operation going on where, like, I was in the shadows. And one that's dude a I personal N word sayer. <laughs> no, no, no. That's where the Patreon money's coming. <laughs> <laughs> it was my human puppy. I pay him five dollars, and he says the N word. He's up front with me in the car. <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome. <laughs> he sits on his knees in the front seat. <laughs> Man, no, the, 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 it's funny when you, if you get one of those guys. I had the opportunity to alert a nearby black guy that he was being overtly racist, dude. It was so funny. He's like, whoa, 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 dude, dude. It was so fucking you funny. Snitched? Wait, you twenty twenty snitched on him? No, this was like. I was just I, I was you were like, ahead of your time. I was like, no, dude, I, was like, no. I was like, what do you, I was like, say it again. I was like, say it again. I was like, dude, tell him. And he was just like, dude, what the fuck? Oh, Matt. Oh, that's so gay. Whoa. That was you gay out. No, because he did it before. This guy was a fucking else dork. This guy was Who a jerk. Who cares? Yeah. Who cares? I mean, like now. I mean, like now. No, I like, guess like back Matt then, I guess it, it was he, okay. He felt, but actually, nowadays, that's what's so cool about Matt. Matt, like, he 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 snitched. He told. And then he felt the power that came with it. He was like, oh, oh my God, never again. <laughs> I, just, I didn't like this guy at all. Yeah, that's, so I was yeah, like, that's I funny. was like, this guy saying if that. It was, if like, it was vengeful, that's different. Yeah, it was very funny to be like, say it again. I'm like, what did you say? And he was like, what the fuck? Fuck. Yeah. I was like, I don't know. I forget. What did you say again? He was like, fuck, dude. I was like, and let that be a lesson for you. Well, really, it was like like his his pill business was encroaching on Matt's MIDI business. That was my fucking dude, man. Oh, uh, he was your dude? Yeah, that was my that wow. was my fucking uh it was like that game everyone plays, Among Us, dude. I was just Among Us. <laughs> I was on the site, dude. <laughs> and he was like tasks. I would just make dude, uh-huh. go talk to people about weed. I'll get you. and he was just he was home. It was pretty funny. So yeah. yeah. So that was my fucking that was my dude, bro. That was my Goomba <laughs> <laughs> Man. But yeah, man. The, uh, okay. That was a funny movie. It, I genuinely thought it was funny. This was like this was before PC culture, so yeah. It was like when we used to tattle on each other in class. Yeah, me and my friends would tattle on each other in class, and it was so fucking fun. Like Pat's leaning back in his chair. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, but you guys would have still been mad if someone else told. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, like if someone else got you in trouble, you'd be like, dude, that's not funny. Well, it's but also, we do it to each other. Like, all right, <laughs> it is fun. It is funny. I, I always have thought it was funny when people corner you and they're like, want to be racist. <laughs> You're like, no, get the fuck away from yeah. me. I like that. I, mean, I like no, the no, option, just, but just no thanks. thanks. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate it. So like, like he was just waiting. He was like, oh, sweet. Yo, let's do that thing. You think I got what it takes? Let's wow. Do, <laughs> let's do you. that. Uh, let's do that thing. Yeah. <laughs> so I, th- I think it's kind of like a pep talk thing. You're just kind of feeling down. You're like. That's how white people get up for the morning to work. <laughs> no, I, th- I think I, that's what I think it comes from. I think it's one thing where you just go like, you know. 
where you just you're just feeling kind of down on yourself, and then you're just like, I think I'm better than all black people, all Latinos, Jews, yeah, and I think a couple other types of people. Asians, you're just I kicking guess. gravel, you go, walking. Sweet, I'm not doing that bad. Walking like by billion. the pier yeah. with your hands in your pockets and your head down, you're just kicking gravel around. It's like, wait a minute, <laughs> wait. There's, I mean, entire races that I'm better than. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm not so bad. <laughs> Why? Did you bring a song? <laughs> well. There's about, you, hear there's, you hear there's like 8 billion people in China. You're like, yes. <laughs> yes. I've never met a Goombarone. <laughs> You were doing the hat wave thing. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying slurs. <laughs> doing like the backwards uh, tap dance thing on a frame thing. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and chinks. And spits. That would be awesome, <laughs> <Just man. laughs> There's probably old movies like that and just no one knows because no one ever actually watches them. Anytime anyone talks about old movies. Or like they're, they're having a genuine coming of age tale where the dad takes him aside. He's like, you know we're better than all minorities, right? <laughs> He's like, why, son? Don't you realize? <laughs> <laughs> why so down? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Damn, this is not. Good. I didn't realize it was so hot. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> yes, <Yeah, it's> rough. <laughs> I didn't realize it was so wicked. I love this. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't realize it was such. A, it was so bad of me to fucking. I love this, man. Jam that dude up. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. no. I mean, it was like it was, it was. It was a different time. It was a different yeah. time. It was my. It was my first wife. I was kind of excited. Yeah. Like, Listen, buddy, you have a black wife. All right. <laughs> Don't oh, you dare, man. <laughs> black wives matter to them. Oh, well, then, I, yeah, I think I actually did. Oh, honest. now it's funny because you definitely actually were convinced. You, yeah, you, you tried could, to pretend this was like getting your boy in trouble. But, I did, though. No, I did. But for you real. were like, I'll show you. Dude. Yeah. No. You, 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 you 20, 20, 20, you say that racist you shit around me, dude. Who the fuck do you think I am? And then you, you asked for the teacher. Yeah, you raised you know your what? hand at the construction site. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's being racist. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I think it was. I think there was a cognitive. And I, you know what? I, I stand by this decision. You really fixed yeah. this. That was a cognitive, that. That's a cognitive dissonance. <laughs> what did, what did the, you're like I, at home and your wife's black and some guy's like, I hate black people. And you're like, yeah. You go home and you're like, yeah, work was good. We didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think it's all right. But, uh, you know, I respect your opinion. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Have you met all of them? I don't know. <laughs> I've met in six. I don't like them. And I'm here to tell you that now. Damn. It always, it, I'm it's, telling you. It's I, been I, too long since I was around actual racist dudes. Well, <laughs> now I can remember. I'm talking time. genuine race. Like, I've been, I've, I've been I'm, you know, not bragging, but it always has bugged me out. People are genuinely like, no, you don't understand. When I think about them, I get fucking pissed. Yeah? Yeah, it's been a while for me. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, my mom's genuinely racist, but like people that I put myself around. Mm. It, it's been eh, people born. They I almost people, seem like they should follow, get grandfathered in for real. We should grandfather. They seem people like they in. follow black news. You know, like they, what you they, mean? They, I don't know. They'll bring up like. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. They'll follow the events and be like. Yeah. Yeah. Like they know way more about Nick Cannon than I do. <laughs> it's like shit. I know yeah. a lot about Nick Cannon. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You know he drinks two gallons of water a day. <laughs> That's too much water, Nick Cannon. No, dude, he has a uh, fuck. What lupus? I want to say he's got yeah. lupus. So okay, he's got to eat clean. He drinks two gallons of water. I mean, I can fuck with your kidneys. Are the ones that diffuse lot. water? And I know salt. a lot about the cannon. Yeah, maybe I am racist. <laughs> <laughs> maybe CNN I go back in time. Right. I was the guy on the construction site. I was like, dude, how do you feel working with all oh, these no. motherfuckers? Oh, no. <laughs> I said it. You oh, mementoed Jesus. yourself. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the show down. Did you ever see download the show on no. Amazon? No. The guy realized he like loses his memory and gets it back and realizes he was a piece of shit. And he's like, fuck, damn it. Fuck, dude. <laughs> no. That's cool. Yeah. What? <laughs> well, what's he do now though? Oh, the season just ended. Why does it matter that he's a piece of shit? Or is he he's in like a digital afterlife. So he's what? in like his, his like consciousness got uploaded, but he got like, they wiped a bunch of stuff out. Of his memory because it had like shady business dealings, but in the end he was the betrayer, dude. Mm. He was such a sweet lady to this this lady who was actually still in the living life. She was like his customer service representative that could beam into his reality. And uh, Dan, could you like pick? She fell like, in love with Can him. you pick hot bodies and fuck? Uh, no, it's I think it's your body, but you can get mods. That's I think. bullshit. It's digital, and they can't. 
I think no. I create think a wrestler. There for are you. mods. There are upgrades and mods. You have to pay for everything. Everyone has like face tattoos and like a big green mohawk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they just got bored playing with the sliders and picked their person. <laughs> yeah, I think I think the in the story, you could you could pay money and like get a half finished mods. like cursive tattoo on the stomach that they got tired of like rotating the letters. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I, I thinking about it, it's all code. You think you were yeah. you would be able to like when you die and they upload you, the first thing you do is you create a character. Yeah. And it's just like a person just like shuffling back and forth and you're just putting like bigger arms. I'm on going them, light like, skin Latino. I'm, like, oh, I'm going to need light <laughs> yeah. skin. Going Latinx? For I'm sure. Gonna need light, we I'm going to need Mr. 305. We should make a pact right now that when we die together True. and get uploaded, we're all going to be uh, light skin Latinx. And we won't tell. We'll have a code word, dude. We won't say any. We won't let it. Like, hey, it's me. Yo, it's me, the That's the Goombro. We, we, we shake hands and we whisper in each other's ear. Goombro. Goombro. So in the digital afterlife, every light skinned Latino person on the sea bit. Goombro. Yeah. Like, the this fuck you say? Nothing, nothing, Stoner nothing, dad's nothing, heaven. Nothing. True. <laughs> when you <laughs> die and you find us, say, whisper Goombro in our ears. Nice to meet you. Goombro. Goombro. Whoa. Damn, dude. We should turn this into a secret society of some sort. Man, I. Maybe I'm just high on mushrooms, but I think that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> like, just make this, this like, make it a cult. We yeah. Can, well, what, what does it take to become a cult? Like, we, 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 we have a fucking money. salt lamp. You need a lot of money. Yeah. Um, you need to find people you, wait, who you are, need like, more than black lights to be. Well, I mean, no. Right now, we got the vibe going pretty strong. Yeah. Because, well, better yet, what does it take to become a cult leader? Charisma. Uh, some sort of, like, worldview. That kind of is like really. Racism is a worldview. <laughs> Damn, I'm gonna have to. I don't have these things. I'm gonna have to be one of your assistants. I'm gonna have to be yeah, your I like lackey, do it, man. As soon as someone is like, I don't want, I don't want to be Which here. Which is still pretty good. That's fine. I understand that I, it's not my position to be the leader, but yeah, you know, you, I'm, you I'm here be. to do what's best for the group. True. That makes the cult stronger, though. If if when it's a prohibitive cult, that's when things start to turn. Con- like a cult conscious cult. Up. Yeah, that, that's like, the most important like guy, ones. by the way. I don't mean to. I don't mean to toot my own horn. That's the most important guy. Like Who? the dude, the dude, like the enforcer for the cult leader, the guy yeah. that's like his number one. <laughs> that's the best dude. True. There's yeah. There's only a, you have to get a person. We Every all once in a while, someone chirps up, and it's like he doesn't do anything, but you know that like he's done some shit to people that's that what, chirp too hard. That's why yeah. I'm saying secret society. Secret society. You can you could decentralize. Mm. You don't need it. The, the the cold form will just run away from trust, dude. Trust me. I just watched the Nexium documentary. You're right. I mean, we you should just be a mystery school. Mystery cult would be sick. Yeah. A mystery school would be tight. I mean, I, I tried starting a mystery school a bunch of times. I tried putting that document. I don't doubt that. I tried putting a document up. What is a mystery school? Just fucking school of mysteries, dude. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, it's, it's a mystery, dude. Well, I mean, you're saying it like it's a thing that I should know like, about. And so, I'm not sure. So the, <laughs> <it's true. What? laughs> like the desert miss the rain. Welcome um, to mystery school. So, <laughs> hey, I'm so mad we didn't name this mystery school. <laughs> <laughs> we still can. So the, oh, the, that's all right. That's how we'll label it. What people will have to know about mystery school. That's the only thing we're going to put on the video. So if you found it, congrat! Welcome to mystery school. You did it, shit, dude. Yeah, we'll, 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 we're starting now, dude. Not sure how you welcome even found out about school. mystery school. Holy shit! How did you get this? Congratulations, welcome. We're so happy to have you. You know the secret password, dude. Damn! <laughs> Don't <laughs> say. <laughs> did you? <laughs> And again, if no one ever hears this, that's pretty. That's pretty cool. This it's is pretty for us. Balling too, dude. <laughs> no, for sure. This is going out. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start soon, for real. Yeah. Let's. Uh, what time is it? Perfect. We got another hour, dude. Now we'll start. We'll pod for real. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Can you pass me one of those grape waterloos? They're all. Uh, yeah, that one. That was full. Right oh shit! I'll take a line. I'll take a line. Blinded by the strobe. Line. I was actually. I thought they were <laughs> yeah. lime from the like, strobe. <laughs> All right. What do you think the feedback's gonna be like? People are gonna be pretty sick of my laugh. I think. Yeah. I think people are gonna be pretty yeah, happy. Pretty gaggly. People have been clamoring for it. I think we'll chop. I mean, this is yeah. we could have done a regular episode like we always do, but this will be I think pretty sick to do this. Chop it up into like an undecipherable text, mm-hmm. dude. As a mystery school would do. Yeah. Hey, yeah. When you when mystery school is just the beginning. Now you have to find the untampered with version. True, and that's its dude. own mystery. Oh my yeah. god! Good luck. Holy! I fuck. mean, congratulations. Are you releasing this thing in pieces all on the web, dude. In like part two, part. No three. one would ever care enough to figure out. And be like, you this, think this was a stupid? Like all the all the hit. It's like a. <laughs> It's like all the hidden information that is in like, yeah, like it would a just pyramid, be on radio dogs you know? in like fifteen minutes. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, know, you know how like uh, like they say like there's all this hidden information in a pyramid. Yeah. You know? 
Like it's the same thing that we're giving out. Like if you see a black woman driving, yeah, like you know the secret information now. Like you True. can decipher that and like understand the the the, the secrets of the world. True that. Yeah, it's so, sort of like a Rosetta uh, Rosetta Stone. You yeah, you guys like multiply by pi or some shit. You know, I think the Rosetta Stone itself was a uh, talked about like how they should free everybody from debt. That was the con the actual verbal content of the Rosetta Stone. Pretty crazy. That's like a psyop to name, like, very uh, trendy translation education software after it. So people forget about the important part. Yeah, let us learn what e Egypt was like. <laughs> yeah. You still don't understand how they did it. It was just this weird tablet, and they're like, this kind of looks like that shit. I, I think those guys make, that would be so fun, dude, being like an Egyptologist. Yeah. They're like, what happened in Egypt 10,000 years ago? Like, dude, funny you asked. Um, there was this guy, and then he did it. It's like you could play, yeah. you could make that up. Do you like Doctor uh, Zawi Hawass? Who's that? The the, lead, the world's leading Egyptologist. What? Yeah, he's just like this 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 like little fat guy that just like argues with people about whether or not <laughs> like pyramids were tombs. What? <laughs> yeah, dude, it's sick. You he's read that? like like clay tablets, dude. Yeah. You just sit in a room and read clay tablets and take extensive notes. What does he like, think of the pyramids are? Tombs. tombs. Think he's, he's, oh, he's, wait. Hard, he's a hardcore tomb guy. Not energy centers. He's wrong. It's true. But obviously, he, you know, he hasn't. Wait, who thinks they aren't tombs? A lot of people. I do. think uh, conventional wisdom. Do you even know what the pyramids do? do? You, I mean, do you know that <laughs> no. there there is literally no proof linking pyramids to tombs? I thought they've like pulled mummies out of them. Nah, there's never been a sarcophagus Have I been found by inside car really? the pyramid. Like yeah. cartoons. That's never, never once, ever once found inside of a pyramid. What the fuck's that guy got to say about that? He's got no good answers. <laughs> really? Dude, he just gets angry at you. It's all behind a paywall. He gets pissed? Yeah, he gets very pissed. You're like, dude, show yeah. me the bodies. Why is he, he doesn't seem very prepared to tackle the subject. Why is he, like emotionally, why is he, why did he pick that? <laughs> He's passionate about it. He got really mad the first time he heard it, hasn't done any research. <laughs> He's like, they have to be fucking tombs. <laughs> yeah. Those things are magnificent. There's no way. Have if, you never seen Scooby Doo movies? True. Yeah. He's actually the he's actually the one guy that is one of the reasons we still think they're tombs. Like he's one of the leading tomb guys. <sighs> Fuck, dude. Yeah. Something's gotta be done about this guy. I mean, I just want to sit him down and talk to him. Yeah. Just talk true. some sense into him. He's gotta get canceled, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's he 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 got canceled. For what? For uh, it was, a, it was raping a, it was a woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a, completely it was, unrelated. It was some sexual misconduct. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, dude. he was yeah. sexually. No. Yeah, dude, he's really flirtatious with his uh, not 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 interns, but they're like graduate students and shit. Yeah. Of course, dude. Yeah, it's he's like fat really, Indiana Jones. He is. Da, 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 Wait, da. Was, was he white or black? He's Egyptian. Oh, he's Egyptian. Well, of course. Oh, yeah. dude. Yeah. He, so he's an Egyptian in the in the pyramids, and he's grabbing ass. Yeah. And that's he wears him. he wears that's an that's Indiana Jones he wears the Indiana Jones hat. That's the power of the pharaoh. He, he wears a denim he wears a denim button up. <laughs> yeah. He's the man. Fuck, dude. He's just like like just fingering. That's what graduate that's what students. The, the pyramids have always been. It's just for one guy to like be the custodian of the pyramids and and convince women to let him yeah. grab their asses. And this guy has like a, peer, a PhD in tour guide. He's like a PhD <laughs> tour guide. He's like, yeah, well, check it out. I'm in the pyramids mm -hmm. again. Like you know even even in ancient is? Egypt, they were already ancient. Like they weren't building. I don't even. That's just like, that's just the first time they wrote about them or whatever. But what? there's always just been like a Highlander guy that's like, yeah, the pyramids actually like I know what they're about. True, like, yeah. dude. I, I swear to God, man. That's how you got. That's how you get on Gaia. You just make a wild fucking claim. Mm. Gaia is the the thing. I, I don't. I haven't been on it in a while. It's the thing I had on my phone where it's like. If you want to learn about the pyramids specifically, you get a Gaia membership. So yeah. If you want to like learn meditations, learn the truth about the pyramids, uh, learn the benefits of iodine, shit like weird shit, Gaia is the place you go for there. Or go for that. And they, uh, They're sponsoring the show. They have guys who are just like, look, I laid in the middle of the pyramid and I saw a white light. What else do you need to know? And you're like, <laughs> All right, I guess this guy sounds pretty convinced. Whoa. Or that people be like, well, Can I've you had to like break into them like a golf course at night. Can you like sneak into the it, pyramids? Well, if, if you're close? like high up in the like, dude, there's like levels of dudes, especially in like the Gaia like spiritual network, where they uh, they like pride themselves on like having like read the emerald, emerald tablets, being like <laughs> the oh. N word tablets. <laughs> <laughs> 
being like, well, I also ch I channel entities. There's people who are like, yeah, I channel entities. Someone's like, I channel entities too. And they start to compete in that realm. And yeah. It's funny as fuck. Whoa. It is pretty ridiculous. They'll be like, well, have you? And they're like, the guy was telling the story. He's like, I mean, I've been in the pyramids probably like nine times in the secret chamber of Manahut. <laughs> and not a lot of people have been down there. So I know what I'm getting. And the guy was like, wait, did you guys slide down? That's a pretty, he's like, I mean, I climb when I go down. They're like, art, like one up on each other on like secret chambers. In the oh, pyramids. they're definitely both making it up. Uh, dude, I mean, maybe I don't know if it exists or not, but they, they're just they're kind of like g-checking each other, being like, I mean, I've been down that hill. I guess I guess that was steep the first time I went down there, but yeah, I just kind of slide. It's not really a big deal, <laughs> dude. They're all role playing. You're the only one that's not role. You're an outsider. The rest of them are role playing. It's like a, a universe they've built where they're all like explorers, <laughs> and you're just like, oh, this. You're reading a fan fiction forum. <laughs> you're like this rules. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck man. Tight. Yeah, man. Um. I don't know how we got. How did we get on the topic of Egypt? I mean, it was going to happen. True. It was three, it was three high guys under True. black light. It, it was, was going to happen. That might be why they built the pyramids. Why? Just to channel. Just when to... dudes get stoned, the pyramids like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still think. Oh, it was that's so it. fucking stupid. <laughs> Can't believe I told you guys I told on a guy to construction site. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> It's, yeah, it's alright that you told us, but you're just you, your justification felt. You've been telling yourself this entire time. I've been justifying that. My you're like, mind. dude, it was so funny when I did that, right? As a bit when I told him, it was like we all laughed. Nah, dude, you're a bitch. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> and it's crumbling. You're all like, you built too much of your identity around that True. that lie you told yourself. Myself is context, dude. <laughs> it's Fuck. My self story is crumbling before my eyes. Dude. It's over. Look, True. Sid just changed his posture toward you because he sees the change. <laughs> <I just True. laughs> Insane. True. I just realized this whole entire time, like I was, this this light was Matt's avatar. Oh, it was just yeah. like because I could perfectly see the way his shirt is like it just like a light on top of his head. <laughs> yeah. Damn, that sucks, dude. Sometimes you come out and you're the man. Sometimes you come out in the pod and you learn you're a fucking loser, dude. It doesn't matter. It Pretty all makes us, makes us better. I mean, we've sure. all snitched. You ever snitch? Oh, for sure, dude. No. I was a big teller. When I, was, when I was like yeah. a little kid, though, I told him myself. I told him myself for watching porno at a sleepover one time when I was in like fifth grade. Really? Yeah. Pretty fucking gay. <laughs> no one you liked told that. Told yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was afraid. What was the response? Just like ew. Yeah. What kind of porn was it that you were so like? Oh, yeah. How much? Detail? Oh no, I didn't tell. I didn't tell myself. I I warned everyone that we were gonna get in trouble. They were all like, "Dude, it's time to watch softcore," and I was like, "You guys." I think we're getting a lot of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was like the time the cops came. Damn. We were all drinking in a field. Wait, did people all tell themselves that? No, 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 no. no. That, that definitely Damn. was a un dude. irreparable schism for the rest of my grade school How experience. faulty are our memories, dude? That whole thing probably didn't even happen that I was talking about. That was super embarrassing. <laughs> 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 it's so crazy, dude. Our memories are so betraying, dude. I know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I was uh, we were in high school, we were, all, we were all drinking. That, if, that argument works for anything, by the way. No matter what you do, it's like, dude, I mean. The human memory is super unreliable. Fragile construct. If you ask those guys, they'd all have different versions of the story I told. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> but yeah, dude, the, uh, oh boy. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that was my fault. No, no, no. I interrupted you. Dude, it's, it's just out there. It's coming back. 100%. Oh. Yes. So that when I was in high school, I told you. When I was in high school, the uh, the cops came to a field we were all like drinking and smoking weed at, and everyone was like, "Run, we gotta run!" And I was just like too high, I didn't feel like running, and I was like, "No, we gotta stay, guys. We gotta stay here. Trust me, we're better off." Yeah. We all stayed, and everyone got in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just That's high. A joke, so I was just high. <laughs> so I didn't have I didn't have like a breathalyzer. I didn't register on a breathalyzer, so everyone I think got like in trouble. You sigh up everyone to get in trouble. <laughs> I was just like, oh, don't run. I was like, I don't want to run. And I was like, Damn. come on, guys, stay here. And they, yeah, I think they got in trouble. Damn. I think. I, again, my memory's a lifelong my memory, bitch. My memory's like faulty. Me, my memory's faulty. I, <laughs> some might have gotten away. I forget. But I, I don't know if they got in trouble with stern like warning. Your parents got called. Something happened. You're doing stoner confession. You're they were pissed this all out. And then you're going to be like, I mean, I, is this even my brain? I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if that was me. I'm absolved. It's over. Yeah, dude, it is crazy if you go back into your life and think about all the stupid, embarrassing I shit things you did. I use my power to grant you that peace. It doesn't really trip me up anymore, but it's like you think about it, you're like, damn, I did shit that sucked. Dude, like, the only so many of the them. only thing I ever think about it's like it's not even because of 
like what it was and what it did. It's just like what kind of douchey fucking move. Like I, with, with a chick on a on a on a date, like I whipped my dick out once. Nice. Dude, I I Whoa. hate that I did that. I killed a lady with a hammer one time. <laughs> this day. I regret it to this day. What's yeah. the move? Walk me through. How old are you, first of all? Say uh, 10. 19. Oh, okay. 19. With and it, it was just like. Can you get fired for that now? Not like, obviously, if you pull your dick out, you get fired. I'm saying, could you get fired for a retroactive dick pull? I don't know. I think I think, I think the 19. statute of limitations is good. I'm four. I'm forty. I'll be yeah, forty one. Twenty one years. Yeah, so I'm good. I think you could with that drive Jeez. for Uber, but not Lyft. I think that's. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how did she receive it? She pulled on. Uh, she laughed at it. You broke the glass. Like, oh, she laughed like, at it. It was but, a bit. But, but yeah. no, no, it wasn't like it wasn't that kind of laugh. It was like, uh, you know, like I uh, can't believe this mother. She couldn't thing. even. Yeah, she couldn't even. She couldn't even. And you I'm broke like, the emergency glass. Pulled out, dong. dude. That is the worst. Dick to have out, like you have it. You have your dick out, and then she can't even. It's like I, but it, it, True. it's there is no colder dick. What vibe did you pick up on? By the way, <laughs> you're like, this Dude, is now it's time. It's it was time. All disgust and desperation. Slow motion. Was like, oh, yeah. Dream. I was like, I was in a rock bottom, and I was just like, I guess this is who I am now. Oh. I'm, I'm a, a guy dick that, shower. I'm a yeah, I'm a dick, I'm this yeah. dick guy now. So it was like, uh, so I got kicked out of college after my first year of college. Like I stopped going to class my freshman year, yeah. And like I couldn't, I wasn't, I didn't, I wasn't able to pull off not going to class and still getting good grades. I ended up getting kicked out, right? And um, I was working two jobs. I was working at uh, Boscov's and Foot Locker. Ooh, yeah. Dude, and I was just like dick pulling out stores. You know what I mean? It's like I guess. guess Were you wearing the referee stripes when you pulled your dick out? (laughs) (laughs) I have the power. (laughs) You blew a whistle. I might as well been. I might as. I mean, it was definitely. You had two jobs. It was too, but it was just, I just didn't like who I was and where I was at the time. Yeah. And it was just like, well, let me see if I can just lean into this then. You know, yeah, like, show my dick. Whoa. Yeah. My life's not good. My life, I'm not a big fan of my life. Let's see what, you know, let's see what's up with my dick. Yeah. Cause it was like, it was like, Sorry. I could probably fucking dick life. be the king of this world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, you know what? what? It makes sense. I think that's a thought that goes to everyone's head before they expose their genitals. Yeah. If you can like, go yeah. like, nah, I think I rule. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> you need to see this. What, what you're saying makes sense because when you, whenever you see like, uh, like Latin X and Egyptian like mall kiosk guys, yes. you know that they've adapted their entire life to that work personality. Yeah, like they're always yeah. very like, uh, you know, forwardly but like gently asking to touch women's wrists <laughs> and elbows and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah that's a crazy life. It's dude. just like yeah, I'll just this is who I am. I mean, that's like a yeah. skill like being an electrician or a plumber. Mm-hmm. There's years of apprenticeship that go into like, excuse me, excuse me. Yeah, if we're spraying ladies. Let me touch ladies. your arm and not have someone like, get the fuck off me. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck are you doing? People yeah. are like, oh, I'm sorry. You can't touch my arm right now. Yeah they, yeah. they spend weeks with their faces just in like a vice and they're learning how to do that first eye contact. Thing <laughs> like, <laughs> my where friend, it's like, my you're friend, not, you're friend. not alarmed, but you're also not compelled. But yeah. all they needed was for you to let your guard down for a second and then they pull. Yeah. And then you have to, it, I mean, it takes them years to master that. Fuck, man. Yeah. Their eyes are just pried open. Their heads are snuck. Like I the, mean, they're uh, seeing the a whole office. different world. If you're in that For mall, sure. every single person that walks by, you're like, 15, this might be 15 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. And you're oh, like, yeah. I need to yeah. rub this shit on someone's nails. Yeah, that was yeah. like, like I remember Damn. like that time period. It was like I had this idea in my mind where if like, if I like, like step down a tier in life, like from like, well, like think like accomplishments and goals like if I can just step down one tier, like I can, I can be the fucking man. You're talking about like step down from just like a level in life, like everything that you want for your life. Yeah. You know, if you just like dial that back a little bit. Yeah. You could be the king of your world. True. You know. I hear what you're saying. I yeah. see what you're saying now. It's like like I I wouldn't be with like a fucking complicated terrain and chick like Ansley. I would be with like an easy, you know what I mean? Like some like. Easy Possibly. mall mall chick, dude. This is where you're, you're no way because you mean, don't know you don't know what lays below. <laughs> that's like, the dude, world you can, you can enter some wild fucking shit. That's the world. That's the world I was in though. Like talking about like, like, like dating. No offense, obviously, but if you were to like stop your career in comedy and just be like, I'm just gonna like work in uh you know like a, a store, like say I'm thinking of like a hot topic manager. Yeah, you start. You think a hot topic manager is gonna be chill? And then, nah, nah. But I mean, it's like her room's gonna look like this. First of all, dude. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Dude, I wasn't. I know what you're saying yeah, like, yeah. work as hard as you can, 
see where the you know the dice spits you out. Look, you know, take your stats, your socioeconomic, and then just move like three rungs down and socioeconomically. Wise. Be, and like, it, again, it was just like that's where I was in that desperate state of, of like getting kicked out of college. Mm. You know, uh, just oh, so wh- somebody threw you down a couple pegs. I threw myself. I mean, it was like <laughs> I threw like, myself down. Yeah, it was like yeah, it was. Uh, it was like okay, while I'm down here, I might as well be the fucking man. True, you know. But basically, that's what it was, and it you was like kicked out of college rules, dude. I mean, it was, it was the way I got kicked out of college. Wait, so did what, what kind of metric were you using to declare yourself the man? You think you're better than better than Butterly, dude? Butterly didn't go to college. That man. Well, he also didn't get kicked out. True. <laughs> <laughs> we're square. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, again, in what, just, in what way were you like? What warped part way did you think you were killing it? Like, dude, I'm getting so much pussy right now. You know what I mean? Basically. Yeah. Get, get, uh, getting a lot of pussy. She's that's, like, that's I really need to step the was. pussy up. I mean, it was like, if, if I'm going to be this, I might as well be getting pussy. True. Like, if I'm going to be a dude that gets kicked out of college and, and has to come back to his hometown yeah. and work so two cool. jobs, you know, like, I might as well be gotcha, getting a lot gotcha. of pussy. might be the coolest thing I've ever heard. That's real waterbed energy, by the way. <laughs> 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 like, look, I need this. Yeah, I almost got a lava lamp. Like, that's, that's, I was at that point. I almost got a lava lamp. <laughs> to be fair, at nineteen, I was like getting pussy so that I didn't die. If that made sense, like I it was the same way. Like I had to justify my. You need to know you were alive by getting pussy. Yeah, <laughs> I had to like if I didn't get pussy. <laughs> yeah. That was all. I would be like, I cannot wait to tell everyone I got pussy. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. It was awesome. But in my head, I was like, Was that the part it? that you liked the most? Was telling them about it? <laughs> Pretty much. Like, pussy yeah. rules, but telling people about getting pussy. When I was nineteen, to be like, What did you do last night? I like, got pussy. <laughs> I fucking love. I mean, it was just yeah. like, such a bonus, dude. I would glow for like three, and obviously it was cool. There's obviously like you know the pheromones and stuff that like come with oxytocin from like touching another human being, but like dude, I was like, so it, fe- it felt good twice because when the when the dudes would like hug you for getting pussy to congratulate you, you'd be like, dude, this is yeah, like this is where I belong. Yeah. yeah. What was what was your most epic retelling of pussy? Because I have one, I have uh, one, and like I almost stopped. Like that almost made me want to stop telling my boys mm-hmm. that I got anything at all. Cause it's like not, that was never going to be topped. Yeah, I don't know. One time I went soft in a hot tub. It <laughs> 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 was pretty chill. <laughs> I was going go just flaccid in a hot tub, being like, just chill. <laughs> I'm so relaxed. <laughs> Start calling her babe. You barely going, know her. You slide going down soft a in a hot tub, yeah. being like, sorry. <laughs> that can be appropriate. Just let her flap it around. Just let her flap around under the bubbles. You're just like, dude, we don't need this. Is just yeah. Is it me? These bubbles killing your boner? This is fucking crazy. <laughs> no, I would say I would say that's how like that's how I knew it was. I was that was like I just felt comfortable being soft. True. <laughs> that's how I know it's real. Like, I just yeah, like, let me let me any put my, fucking let me, put my ass, let me put my ass up to the jet and see. What <laughs> <laughs> any old fucking idiot can get a boner and put it in your oh, pussy. Fuck you. Yeah, mm. True. All right. True. This is 3D fucking. Like, this you, know is much, 4D. you know how much control it's taken for me to remain soft in your press? I think I was hammered. It was at senior week. I drank a ton of beers and just like got in a hot tub, made out, and just got soft. It was like sweet. And Damn. then you told all your boys. Well, about I'm it. like, yeah, I got pussy last night. Yeah. <laughs> hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, don't go in the tub. There might be some of my uh, my cum in there. Yeah, but, you well, know, uh, definitely a pube in there somewhere. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it wasn't. I mean, you know, probably. <laughs> yeah, I got in a hot tub, went soft, dude. It was fucking hot, steamy, dude. <laughs> just mashing soft. I wonder if that was Shia LaBeouf was doing. That was not <laughs> Smashing soft bird, be like, oh. <laughs> dude, that would be the weirdest fetish. <laughs> just be like, come on, and just fucking just pushing soft bird against fetish. There's yeah. gotta be people who are into it, dude. I, th- I feel like I've seen that in a movie. Like a weird in a movie did that to a lady. Push soft bird. Yeah. Like, you're talking about, like, just popped out of the subway or, like, they were, like, getting it on. He was, like, no, they're getting it on. Bird. Or he's probably, like, a captive or something. That sounds like something you'd do to a captive that would weird them out. Soft bird porn. No, I'm, yeah, well. <laughs> Audubon, <laughs> Arizona. Soft burn porn over overburding without, what the fuck? Overburding? Yeah, Audubon, Arizona. Soft bird porn over Overburding would be a great gay porn company name. <laughs> Yeah, this is just about giving birds, little birds, clean water. So that's not what I'm looking for. Wholesome shit, dude. Yeah, dude. This isn't yeah. guys mashing soft yeah. birds. Yeah. Dude, man, you know, <laughs> girls. Like, Come on. It doesn't feel good at all. Are you serious, dude? <laughs> still, a, I know it's soft. It's still a bird. <laughs> it has to have some properties. <laughs> 
Oh man. But yeah, so but yeah, man. So you know, we're here and uh Welcome to Stoner Yeah, Dads. Welcome back. <laughs> welcome. Who knows, dude? <laughs> we're gonna start for real. No, seriously, we have what you call it. I, I do want to watch Lost in Space at eight thirty, so oh, I okay. love Lost in Space, dude. Oh good. I think we got a I got a we got a poker night going on tonight. Do you really? Yeah. If, if either of you guys want to join in. I mean He's not gonna dab meet stream. Oh, Ooh, tonight? Oh, UFC, Ooh, right? Ooh, what time yeah. you gotta do it? Yeah. Ten. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah let's we'll uh, you know, we'll start and we'll wrap it up right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you wanna, you wanna bang one out? Let's bang it out. Let's <laughs> bang one out for real. <laughs> we should do something really weird with this, like heavily edit it. We should start it. Yeah, let's start it. Let's let's rip. Let's rip like thirty rip. minutes. Put like put that uh Dude, um, I mean, we covered a lot of topics. We covered, you know, some soul talk, some death talk. Um, you know, talked about that crazy story I made up that was super funny that like never happened. <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, I really was, dude. I honestly, now that I think about it, I was like, hey, my wife's black. <laughs> Knock it off. <laughs> Not so fast. But I did also think it was funny to be like, hey, say it. No, say it again. He was like. I mean, just say it, dude. Who cares? Just rip it. Did you try to bump fists with the black dude that you told on to? No. Yeah, like, he, had, yeah. he didn't know what happened. He was yelling like, "Huh?" And he was like, "No." <laughs> yeah, was that's like, what oh. I thought. <laughs> yeah, I was like, "Bitch." <laughs> but no, I used to do that. And there's another guy who, uh, who I would when he would say it, I'd be like, "We should fucking kill him." And they'd be like, "Whoa, whoa." <laughs> <laughs> whoa. <laughs> I'd be like, "No, seriously, I'll stand up there and just drop something heavy on him." And they're like, "What the fuck?" It was pretty. That was actually yes, pretty sick. Dude. Yeah, that's that's the move. That's the move. Like, that's the move. Kill these motherfuckers. Now. Like, They're dude. like, why do you want to kill him? You're like, he wasn't cool with me saying the n word. <laughs> They're like, no, dude, he won't let me do it. Dude. I've tried. I I said it and I, I read his feelings and I knew in his heart he disliked it. Yeah, I mean that's what uh, it was funny. Brittany was talking about that. She's like, I think I'm gonna have that ha- that word be like, I don't think we're gonna have use that. I'm gonna tell Maya not to use that word. And I was like. Yeah, I mean, yeah. If you don't want to use it, we won't be. What word? Know. The N word. The N word. That's yeah, what. She, that's what. Uh, my. That's what it was for me. Yeah, she's like, we're, yeah. I'm just gonna treat that as like a curse. That's crazy. You get two talks as a black person. Which one? You talking about the N word talk? talk? You get the sex talk and the N word talk. True. I mean, you're either sucks, you're either you first either, of all, you don't get the sex talk. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah. You do not get the sex talk. <laughs> you're either oh, tossing man. it around or you're not. I feel like in a black house. I, I think so. Mm. So I think so. I think you're either tossing. I mean, we so we were we're my, like breaking it out on holidays. <laughs> <laughs> like a nice sweater, but huh. you open yeah. a very nice cupboard to let it out. <laughs> my my mom definitely made it clear that we were we were not gonna be tossing that word around mm-hmm. in our house. Yeah, but we were the type of people to be tossing that word around. Like, really? Yeah, like that. That was like our family. We were definitely n words. <laughs> you know, so she she toppled like an empire. I mean, or maybe, yeah, you know what? Maybe you ever regret it. You ever, do you ever like miss that from your childhood? Like, I can't believe, you know what I mean? Like you feel deprived. No, I, I think, Not I think older. All. Yeah. I think uh, older. Like, yeah. It is like, it's almost cause I feel like it stifles so much creativity, you know, like, yeah, you know, you just, well, I was just wondering if this is like the black guy of the thing where like, you know, where dudes see movies about Boston they're like, damn, it would have been cool if I grew up in like Southie. I was just wondering if black dudes like, damn, it would have been cool if I grew up with the N word. That never happened. Uh, well, I, mean, I, grew, I mean, I grew up. Saying, I grew up with it, just not saying it. But his, the, I mean. the, the way I look at it is like you're around um, it. Yeah, I see. I see nice. those people now mm-hmm. that like I grew up with that said the n word. It's like try talking to these fucking idiots. Mm-hmm. Like it, it's like so back then. It's like you couldn't think of a word to say or couldn't think of what to call somebody. Yeah, it was like then he was a nigga. Yeah, you know what I mean. It was like. It was like you're not even. It's probably so fun to say that once you start saying it, like I'm always I'm gonna say this every time. Yeah. Sentence. So it'd be like like you'd be like roasting like each other dude. and you get this stuck, you can't say anything. You'd be like yeah. ah, this nigga's shirt. You uh, know what I mean? It's yeah. like that's that's what we're doing now. Yeah. You know. And then meanwhile, I was you know, I was I was creating art back then. I was I was an art I was an artiste. Dude, when you got hit with one of those, where did you feel like your hands were being held behind your back because you couldn't throw an N word back at him? Never. That you always listen when when yeah, the. When you say, uh, like, when sure. the when the when the Thank corny ish looking guy yeah. is slaying the cool yeah. n word slaying guy, yeah. slaying, do you? Everybody erupts for you. Everything you do, yeah. You oh, can't miss, wow. you can't so miss you the beat. Embraced it. So you're saying yeah. so you're yeah, saying yeah, yeah, yeah. you have the juice. I have all the juice. <laughs> I have all the. I've never Damn. lost my juice. <laughs> Sid was like a retarded kid with a wrestling belt. He was getting by on white dude, <laughs> white dude responses. 
yeah, no, it was, uh, <laughs> but it was like, but, but cooler because like then you'd have like some white dudes that were like cool with black people. They try to come in like, ah, I see what he's doing. I can get him. And it's like, but you can't uh, see me. Oh, well, they tried to me. bounce you out because you're both the yeah. bottom rung. True. Yeah, you can't. Nobody can see. It's like I'm like you're hanging from the same. I could, I he was like, "Who am I cool? I'm cooler than." Oh, I'm cooler. It was yeah. Matt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Matt's yeah. I think he was trying to defeat you to enter the black race. That's He's literally like, defeat Sydney. I take his place. Yeah. yeah, that's every every almost every fight that I had ever been in was always with a person that was like anime black kid and wigger. Well, I'm cooler than him. You know, like awesome. I can like I can fuck him up. Yeah. So like everybody, you know, every fight that I was in was somebody trying to like make their name off me. Damn. Whoa. Yeah. Cause it's like, I was always athletic as fuck, so it's like, dude, if I can beat up this, you're a gatekeeper. Kid, yeah, true. Yeah, you're a wigger gatekeeper. But they, they <laughs> like, dude, yeah. I can take them out and ascend. <laughs> uh, your oh. name's not on the list. <laughs> Bounce <Yeah>. them out. <laughs> it was pretty sick. Uh, no, Derek is not on the list. Take a hike, dude. Fuck. <laughs> he takes a swing. <laughs> Hell yeah! Damn. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, that was, uh, I told Bernie was like going on about that. I'm like, yeah, I guess, uh, if, yeah, I guess if, you know, if you don't want to, you know, I guess, I guess we'll, uh, we'll not be an N word house, I guess. I don't, I don't, I don't Were know. you disappointed? <laughs> no, I mean, I was kind of like, <laughs> all right, I don't know. I don't know if I can counterpoint this, but well, <laughs> look, I don't know. I think there's some opportunity here. I think, uh, it's just like, okay, sure. Yeah. Uh, uh, Wasn't yeah. thinking about it. We don't want the word to have extra power by being forbidden in the house. <laughs> yeah. Look, how about just I say it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that, I mean, my mom was very, uh, like, again, like, she was very good about that. She was like, just think of something else to say. True. Mm -hmm. That That's what her thing was. It's like, just don't, like, her, like, she just didn't want me to be, like, one of those dumb dudes that would call women the N-words when they were trying to holler at them. Like, that was her Ooh, whole yeah. entire yeah. thing behind it. Oh, did I tell you I'm 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 calling ladies Ma now? I'm trying out Ma. Yeah, yeah, what I'm trying out Ma. <laughs> well, how's that been going? Like, where do, well, you, been, where do you do this? I'm doing it in a pilot program in my house, and it's like every time I walk by my wife, I like act, I, I go too close to her. I go, excuse me, Ma. Excuse me. <laughs> and, I rub, and I rub my wiener across her. Nice. Like, ah, excuse me, Ma. Excuse me. Nice. Salt bird? You, you, you rubbing salt bird? Yeah, because it's like, uh, you yeah. know, it's not, I'm not initiating. I do it so often that it could not possibly be initiating. So it's just like, hey, there's a little. Yeah. How are you doing, right? Sure. Yeah, excuse me, ma. Excuse me. Yeah, and, like, there's yeah. plenty of room to go around her, but you know what I mean. Robin Bird. Yeah. So, but I like I like the way Ma comes out. So I might just be women for me. <laughs> like, sorry, Ma. Ma, dude, going Ma would be nice. I'm just laughing about like the people, the older dudes, just through history, just constantly going past like their bays and be like, it's like grabbing their butt and you're like, nice. Yeah. Sick move. It is a sick move. It's classic to live with someone. It's and like, like, yeah, dude. Uh, it, as long as it's, I don't know. I think a lot of like. Married joking is just sexual assault. Yeah, for real. <laughs> that's that's what marriage is. It's like, you know, I agree to let you sexually assault me if you agree to let me sexually assault you. We're cool about it. And yeah. there used to be a time when people would get divorced and not spill all the fucking beans about all the shit that went on. Or like you would end a relationship. Like if you're in a long term relationship, mm -hmm. you end a relationship. Now you can be like, well, he didn't make me do this. And they, like with uh, Chris Hardwick and that chick that he broke up with. Yeah. Right. Whoa. Right. This is like when the racist white guy follows black news. Yeah. Like, how many black dudes know about Chris Hardwick? <laughs> well, wait, that, was, that was like, <laughs> you know, what white guys are doing. That was that was uh, that was that was Bay News. Oh, oh, you know oh, what I mean? Right, I forgot. Yeah. Because yeah. it was like because basically she just was like recounting their relationship. Yeah. It was like, see, he was mean to me. He wouldn't let me talk to other guys. It's like. You don't. I know you're talking. Yeah, it's you're like talking you don't about. talk about this shit when you break up. Oh, so you're saying that this is a feature of every relationship, and we just didn't, you know, fire people for it. Basically. That's what you're saying. Oh, basically. I was, yeah. trying, I was trying to figure out how I, you know, we sexually assault each other. I guess harass, know, harass, for sexually all harass, big sexual yeah, harassment yeah, 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 vibes, yeah. dude, for sure. You're not raping each other. Yeah, yeah I, right. I would agree with you. I just think other people might. No, no, you're right though. There's ass grabbing. Assault. I forgot about ass grabbing, dick grabbing. Yeah, a lot of. Uh, She's been hitting me in the ass a lot lately, yeah. just trying to. Dude, yeah. I'm I'm like a fucking steel trap, dude. People come around my fucking. Reach in the shower and goose her. Dude, we used to yeah. we used to do the well. Ansley, Ansley used to do this thing where she would come up behind me and then just like 
like with like through the clothes, just like right on the butthole, and just like oh, hold man. a finger on the butthole. Oh, oh. <laughs> like she was spinning a basketball. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> but like, but like, if I didn't know, like that, and instead of her like like ha ah, to scare yeah. me, like she would just like just finger on the. Butthole. I thought you were talking about like a, uh, yeah. a soft lift. Yeah. Where you get rather than a nut soft tab, yeah, rather than yeah, yeah. nut tab, you just softly lift somebody's nuts. Yeah. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> what the fuck was that? Yeah. Soft lifts are nice. Just, just give someone like, just lift their nuts two inches. It's almost like you get vertigo. You're like, whoa, whoa, what the fuck, dude? Room spinning. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's getting like getting watery. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, like the atmosphere changes. I'm devil, I'm oriented by my balls. We all are, penis. dude. I'm telling you, if a stranger lifts them a couple inches, you're like, whoa. Yeah, which way's north? What day is it? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you're out in like the woods and like Lewis and Clark and he just lifts his nuts and he's like, dude, what the fuck? All right. Now we got to start all over. Yeah, we the trace our fucking tracks. Yeah. <laughs> the stars scramble back in the to... sky. Uh, all right, the first two times it was funny. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> that was why they called her Sacagawea. <laughs> 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 Are you saying that's what Native American scouts were back yeah, then? Who worked with them? Yeah. They that was just the lady like, who worked with Lewis. And yeah, Clark. they shortened it actually. It was originally Sax Apajou. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but the fucking white man, the colonizers, changed their name to Sacajouia. Mm. So yeah, they took away the tap. True, Sax Apajou. Because that, that was their family name. The family name came after the first. Oh. <laughs> so they imagine, removed her from the tap. Imagine if that would have really happened. <laughs> <laughs> Thanksgiving. There's like a tribe we only fought with like fucking genital attacks. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened to the original. They're trying to do it on horseback. <laughs> 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 you ever see the beginning of uh, is it Apocalypto? What's the movie where like the guy's running through the jungle the entire time? That's Apocalypto. Yeah, that's Apocalypto. Apocalypto. You know they sneak into the village rather than lighting it on fire. Like the guys. Are, <laughs> 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 Guy grabs his arm, he's like, fucking a donkey. Bar- <laughs> ah! They got like the tribe elder, like held by one arm. Like each dude's got an arm, and they're like tapping him in front of the fucking guy wearing a yeah, big like wolf's head. He comes down, like, <laughs> oh! whole fucking village. Just- they're they're wearing like more advanced loincloths with nut technology. <laughs> and, like, and they're like, oh my god, this is an insurmountable foe. <laughs> there had to have been the tribe that was like, look, if we just go for their dicks, we win. Comanches, true. Yeah. What are the what are the rules of jujitsu? Are there specifically rules against that? Yeah. What's it called? There's no one really because you can grab someone's ankle. So you technically, <laughs> what? There's no below the belt in jujitsu. You grab their ankle. Technically, you can grab their dick. Is that a foul? I think they spe- they specify genitals in the rules. Yeah. Do they really? Yeah. You also can't grab what an about individual butt? finger. Do you know that? What happened? You can't grab an individual finger. Really? Yeah. Oh, you can just break their finger really quick. Yeah. yeah. That's that's in competition. Which, like in a real fight, you could fight through a broken finger. True. Yeah. But. In a competition, it's almost just like, all right, well, now the game's over because you fucking just easily snap someone's finger. I do it at our gym all the time. Like I grab people. Gentlemen's agreement though. In terms of the dick. It's like, well, I mean, I had uh, uh, one time I was doing it to somebody. I grabbed their fingers, and uh, this guy was like, "Well, that that you know that that, that's not good for sport." I'm like, "Dude, this is my self defense." Do not ever grab my fingers, dude. <laughs> you know how they tell women that are getting raped to not poke them in the eyes because it'll just make them matter sometimes. Really? <laughs> yeah. That might just be rapists chi- like yeah, commenting dude. on internet advice. That's what that's my plan for a rabid dog. Yeah. Is you put you roll you take your shirt off or your coat, put it on your sleeve, hold the first thing that's out. That's what they it, say in Patriot. It. Yeah, is that where I got that from? Did you watch Patriot? Definitely. <laughs> come on, <laughs> okay, come on. Yeah. Come dude. On. It's so called I, Patriot. I googled. Can you grab dick in jujitsu? And the first thing in Reddit said, I grabbed the instructor's dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking Reddit at the question. I grabbed yeah. the instructor's dick. Three stripe white belt here with an embarrassing story. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, he does some sweep kicks, kicks out my foot. I lose my grip and try to reestablish it. I grab his crotch around his privates, but think I just grabbed his waistband or something. Yeah. Oh, well, this has that, probably yeah. happened tons of time to him. People accidentally touching his dick. Yeah, dude, that happens a lot. I have one dude at my gym. Oh, I have one dude at my gym, and I could, I've could i never seen his penis, but I, be- I guarantee I could draw it perfectly. Really? Yeah. Always accidentally getting fucking tip on this dude. Really? Yeah, I don't know what it is. He said... 
This has probably happened tons of times. People accidentally touching his dick. I guess he thought I'd realize my mistake and let go. I didn't. I try and pull myself back up using his privates as handhold. <laughs> Whoa. His reaction was as you'd expect. Rolling after that was rather subdued. He was holding back his smile Dude. after class. What the fuck? Yeah, that's, I don't know. That was a, a weird amount of detail for a story that didn't need to be told. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, dude. That's erotica. That is yeah. that was erotica. <laughs> Why was the instructor smiling? I He's don't like, know. He dude. realized, he pulled himself, yeah. he pulled himself, he like got positioned. He smiled, he, definitely. He, he dick dragged him. Dong. Yeah. <laughs> he, he dragged him, dude, with his he dong. And then he said the match yeah. was subdued after that. Like, what did the, did the instructor Well, I mean, like, if you dick drag somebody. He smiled gonna, at me. Not subdued. quite sure how he felt about the encounter. Did he like it? <laughs> Time would tell, but in the moment he was mostly confused. Oh my god, dude, that would be the most heinous type of like serial killer. If you're just like you joined a jujitsu place, you chilled. It's like my plan from before of like pretending to sleepwalk so you could just like fucking rail it, just beat your wife or girlfriend. <laughs>
karmic weather where like that's when you become born you're born into circumstances that have kind of happened before you even did anything so they do kind of shape you but you have it's ultimately up to you how to, what you're going to do with those circumstances so it's like there is a force against you so that's why if a guy is like you know oh i just wanted to be rich blah blah blah, blah but like gets all that stuff but say like his family's kind of poor he might still feel bad that his family so that's not you know you i think that saying? i think that that is what cripples me what that concept of like uh i, I can't i can't go like through any one experience without trying to insert it into like the infinite space of my entire life. Exactly. And that's yeah. exactly, well, yeah, that's kind of exactly what he's talking about. Now yeah. You, you have to like master, master your own self, or at least like kind of come to an, an acceptance of what you are so that you can use what you are to get what you want. Like, cause so one of the, one of the things that we, we fail to realize is that, as humans, we're like a t- we're a tool. Mm. We're a tool for the world. That's, that's basically what we are. We're, we're a social tool. So every limit, like every um, weird limitation that you see, is like a, a skill. If you flip it on the other side, it's like, well, how do you? How can you use that to your advantage? You know? Yeah, that's what they talk about in uh, fuck. I think it's neurolinguistic programming. If you have, say, like people have panic attacks, they're like. Okay, you have panic attacks, but that does mean you have extremely, you have an extremely strong imagination, and you have, um, you know, extremely vivid self-talk. Yeah, and they're like that's fucking that rules if you can channel that. Yeah. So how do you how do you Pretty use tight. that to to now achieve your goals and move away, like move that away from being idle, so that it's giving you panic attacks. Like put that put those things to good use. Yeah. How do you, yeah? No, that's well. That that was the. Uh, because the, the book is basically about the book. I'm, one of them that I was reading was like people now have like no meaning at all. They just are like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? This is a waste. The things I'm doing sucks. I don't really believe in anything. And that was kind of the idea of like once you can get into it where like your daily actions and decisions become like you're like, oh, fuck, I'm making a decision today. And you get real into the fact that you're like within you're kind of thrown into a stream of like chaos and all this stuff that's constantly going on. But like if you look at circles, it's like, you know, there's like the overarching circle that contains almost like everything. And then there's like, you know, just like the world, your country, society, your family, and there's all these forces that are, but you always have this little circle around you. That's like your own free will and your choices. Mm-hmm. You know, like people forget that, you know, whatever. But I do like the idea of like people do all these actions and it just kind of evaporates up and then it kind of precipitates down in like another realm. And then you're just like some guys coming up to you, like out of nowhere with like no shirt screaming at you. And you're like, Whoa, what the fuck? Yeah. That was a whole chain of actions that happened over the course of years, and it's now presenting. And then, like, people find their meaning and how they interact with that kind of force of things that had happened and are happening now. Yeah. Damn. And how you're also pushing that, you know, depending on what you're doing, you're also adding or, you know, rectifying stuff like that. I, think I mean, it's really your, just the that's idea. That's your of real superpower is, is uh, digesting all that and then breaking it down in that way. That's like, I think that's where you really excel, like, explaining that kind of shit. Dude, I, every time I say stuff, I'm like, I oh, fuck, I don't think it makes no, sense. No, that ruled. Yeah, dude, it's, I was trying to draw the graphic the other day. I was trying, but I suck at drawing. But I was like, I have to, I have to commu- I have to be able to figure this out. I feel like that's the kind of concept where people have to like memorize shit and then like stand behind a podium and say it. Diagram. Extremely high, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, but there's dude, like some guy trying to explain that same concept with, at the same level would be like. Nervously shuffling index cards behind a podium, like, <clears throat> yeah. um, which brings us a figure, just like yeah. point, just like this to a slide that's not responding. <laughs> um, um, um yeah. you move the mouse, it is, it's like, uh, and all those, <laughs> you know, it's, it is true. <laughs> but yeah. those, those guys too, they're not like, um, they're just like reading this stuff and trying to regurgitate it. They're not living it. They're not applying it or actually seeing how. It they're within this as well. Like a lot of times, these people, like if they read this stuff, they go, "Oh, that's how people are," and they kind of separate themselves from it as well. So if you can actually see where you fall, mm, that's what you're saying. Like this. not yeah, not dealing with it just in like theory, but like yeah, dude, I've gotten real into that. Where I start now, like when I do anything or make decisions, being like, like the, the idea is that every it's not like you say like oh, what's the overarching meaning of life. You're like, what's the meaning of the moment. And you're yeah. constantly fulfilling the meaning of the moment by making small little decisions that do add up to big things. But while you're making them, they, they don't really feel like anything unless you start to, like, really get into the fact of, like, what am I going to do when I go home? And, like, you know, why am I going to do that? And you're not, like, in, like, a psychotic way, but you're always trying to – first of all, you're trying to, like, go through, like, preconceived values. But then they even say in the thing, you have – a lot of times you have conflicting values where you're, like, well, I want to work really hard and want to be, like, you know, professionally successful but also want to be a good parent. 
And then like people get fucked up because they overlap because they're like, am I spending too much time parenting or should I be yeah. working a little more? Mm. But the only time your values can overlap, this was really cool from the book, um, is when you're dealing in just the two dimensions. So like if you deal, if you zoom out into the, the human spiritual realm, if you see the two circles that are overlapping, really they're just like the shadow from the third dimension because they're like a rod and a cone will just produce circles that will overlap. But if you go up, you'll see that one is on top, one staggered higher than the other. So that's why you have to like rank yeah. order what you actually think is the most important and then just. So it's like kind of like those slides, it's... like one, like I don't know which colors make colors, but like you pull them together and they make green and you pull them apart and it's like blue and yellow. Yeah, it's like if it was a shadow, it would look like two things will look just like overlapping on each other. But if you looked at their actual thing in 3D, you'd see that like one was higher than the other one. Yeah, so that's so not really I'm, having. So it. for me, it's like the light, yeah, you, the light hitting it a certain, like at a certain angle, you see green. But if you pull, it's like yeah, the same, same thing. Yeah, same thing. Respect, same, like I'm change. using color. But they're saying like yeah. you can't have you can't have clashes of values. You just have to zoom out and see like just be like which one is actually more important. You know, yeah. that's kind of like once you rank order them, you're like, oh, I do value this one over that one. Blah blah. Yeah. I don't know. That Whoa. that was kind of, but it, it was cool when he when I saw like three dimensional things and they're talking about shadows. I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Wait, was this from school or independent research? Independent research, dude. I didn't, learn, yeah. I didn't learn shit in fucking school. I you were like, yeah, I was picturing you like taking notes like, oh, hell yeah. Dude. No, dude, this <laughs> yeah. is what pisses me off about. They didn't tell us like – they would just go into like really basic uh, like theory and then be like – and he was a fucking – remember that guy who came up with all that stuff in like 1912? He was also a fucking asshole. And it's like, yeah, dude. No way. Obviously. Oh, dude, they're like, should, we even, should we even learn Freud? I'm like, I don't know. He invented psychology. I think <laughs> maybe just be a little familiar. But like he was so dumb. I'm like, he wrote like 40 books and revolutionized the way we think about our minds. But yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure, dude. You told on them. <laughs> I, dude, I used to get mad in class when people would come at Freud. I'd be like, I mean, dude, I'm not. I'm by no means a Freudian, dude. But in my head, I'm yeah. like married to a Freudian. Huh? You're married to a Freudian. <laughs> Freudian. That'd be funny. That guy was driving. He's like, I got a Freudian Freudians, wife. Dude. <laughs> Freudians. <laughs> but yeah, dude. Um, yeah. No. The uh, the the karmic atmosphere is fucking. I, I like that a lot. Of just like, action, just coming up and then just precipitating down and like things. You're just like, what the fuck did this happen? So that's my when I when I make decisions now, dude. I just I like will stop think about it and imagine like my little neogen. They call it neogenic. Is like you're like the, the specifically human realm that like is your free choice no matter what's going on. I just imagine that thing spinning around me whenever I make up decisions. Dude, it's pretty tight. Damn, it's pretty cool. Yeah, getting deep. It'd be great. This is me finding out there's a spirit inside my body and it killed me. <laughs> 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 Wait a minute. Mm. Yeah, it is pretty weird, dude, to walk around. Like I used to do it forever and just be like, like I think what you're describing maybe too, Sid, when you're like sitting at the. Uh, you're doing two jobs. You get kicked out of uh, school, and you're just like, you just hate your life. Like, what the fuck is the point of this? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a sucky feeling. It is, it, dude. I, I, that, that still to this day was the worst time of my life. Yeah, dude. I've spent like, like I would say a solid four or five years, four years like that of being like, I legitimately hate my life. Yeah, it was like for me, it was like two or three. My adult part of my adult life. I remember being like, I legitimately hate my fucking life. Yeah. That's dude. That's the worst. In every situation I put myself in, I fucking. It's not hate. worth it, dude. There's people yeah. who just like casually hate their life, and I'm like, Whoa, yeah, dude. But that's the thing. You see so many people casually hating their life. It's like, okay, well, I guess I can like casually hate my life better than them. <laughs> you know, so I'll just do that. I guess. Yeah. You know, or just commiserate. I think people get into like commiserating real hard. Yeah, but you don't. You don't. You don't get taught that you can. You can structure your life in a way that works for you and makes you happy you don't at all never no now you don't get taught to manage time either no which is crazy if you think about it there's no that's your most valuable that's the most like valuable asset you have yeah not to be you know like hot chick I mean, on instagram someone say at the fundamental level it's the only answer you know. exactly that's what i'm saying like but, it's a big fucking deal how you spend like dude it's, it's a bigger deal about you know because you like you know you, you check on your money stuff you you know you check on you make sure you don't get like too fat with the food you can just burn time, dude. Like twenty years goes by, and you're like, "Fuck." Yeah, I think that's the fuck. labor put themselves people put themselves through now. It's like, they're, it's like the empty calorie shit in their life. I've talked about this somewhere before, but like people are just filling up their time with these like uh, like projected feelings from the internet, and they're counting that as yeah. like the labor of growing and living your life. Yeah, and just like no, you're just you're throwing it away, and you're not any better for it. Like I said, empty calories, dude. You're yeah, well, fat on it. do you have people, an example? 
Yeah, just the uh, people like finding shit the retweet is is what I mean. Oh yeah, yeah. Because like, so true. everybody, so people want like they didn't make uh, people of color cool enough in a movie. Like people who spend their yeah, time on that right, shit. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. So there, wow. there's this thing where like people want the consequence of a life experience without actually living that life experience. So like. So like for me, I grew up. I grew up in a very bad neighborhood, mm -hmm. and it kind of made me uh, like say like self aware and tough, right? So it's like they want to be like cool, and my wiener really big. Let's yeah, I mean, just it's that. just like it is, it is, it is, it is. It's just, I'm 40 and I can dunk. It's no big deal. Sure, it's no sure. big deal. I'm only you know? absolutely. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like <laughs> you know, maybe uh, self aware. Uh, yeah, in some ways, my sweat squirted. It's you know. <laughs> Uh, in some ways, my uh, upbringing really influenced how good I eat pussy. Uh, I, but I don't that's mind not what that. I came here to talk about. <laughs> yeah, it's like, dude, I can't help that. I can't yeah, help so you, that. So you made you aware. But let, let, let's just say that. I mean, yeah, like, sure. we're, 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 we'll, we'll go with that. We're, or whatever, whatever it is, whatever edge that like it seems like sure. I have that is at all envious at all. Right? No, I know what you mean. There's, like, there, if you went to like Martha's Vineyard, there'd be like, or really, I was driving past the restaurant. Uh, Right on Written House today, and there's people who sit out there that I'm like, damn, these guys are like super fan, like fancy the way you can see it from like yeah. just the way they move their body. You're like, whoa, I don't think anyone ever pushed that person. Yeah, and dude, it's like ever, and they don't start at that point, mm -hmm. right? They don't start at fancy. They develop that. Yeah, they, de they they develop over time, and they have to develop their uh, existence or their personality through all their shortcomings and in, in that they deal with in life. So it, it's not that you get to just be something. Right. Yeah. So these people now think that they they can just declare something that they identify with, and now they are just that. Right. So it's like they get, but with no life experience. Mm -hmm. Like they, it's like remember when we were young, and we were trying to convince the adults that we didn't need life experience. We know what we're talking about. Yeah. Now we're in this world where like, they're like, yeah, you guys are right. You don't need life experience. You do know what you're talking about. Mm. And I think it's it's killing common sense and just general interaction between humans. I know what you're saying. Yeah, that, that was like, again, that was in school when like somebody who just got out of college would be like, I think Freud's, it's like, well, there's people who'd read all of his books for like 12 years. So, you know, yeah, you're basing this, I know what you're saying. You're basing this off of nothing and everyone's like, yeah, I agree with you. And it's like, yeah, yeah, kind of sucks. I'm trying to think of stuff people do, like internet activities brought into real life. I know there is like a... I wish you could sock people for talking shit on Freud, like it was one of your boys. <laughs> dude, that would, you're, you're, yeah. you're talking spicy right now, and I dude, don't Dude, I like mean, it. I have bones to pick with them, dude, but you have to you have to admire him, man. Oh, dude, you've, you've come... You, dude, I mean, the guy you've argued. did so much coke that he was just like, I think there's another part of our mind <laughs> we don't know about. That we, that we're he was the original stoner dad. 100%, dude. He, fucking, he was the coke dad, dude. He would just do coke, and his family couldn't come into his office where he was oh, writing. He's man. like, dude, I am on, like, I'm going to. It would have been like he was. Like, I'm jacked into the Matrix right now. Yeah, he was like, I'm, I'm like discovering aliens, basically. He's like, I have an alien at my desk. That's how much he was just like, I'm changing humanity's entire outlook. Well, he was aware out. of it. Yeah, he was wow. pretty aware. I, just, I kind of imagine him being like kind of humble about it. Like, yeah, this is what I think is going on. With no, people. he was uh, from what I, you know, what I, he was pretty like, yeah, dude, this is going to be, yeah, this is going to be it. He's like, this is going to change. Everyone's going to become aware of this other part of their brain that they don't know about. That's constantly feeding them like thoughts yeah. and informing their actions in ways that they're not like conscious. It of. It drove him insane. By the end, he was trying to get struck by lightning to time travel. He was like, I'm going to prove <laughs> something again. Here we go. I don't know what the fuck he did. <laughs> he was on coke. He was on coke. And true, yeah. Did he have his best years on coke? Yeah, dude. He had he had and like back when John people life. were like, "You're on coke, nice, dude." Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, I like five hour energy. <laughs> 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 but yeah, that that is it's funny too. Now people can like fully rage out on a completely inconsequential medium of the internet and have people be like, you know, I, I mean, I guess like when things go viral, people do change a little bit, but it's like, I don't know, I don't think it really does anything. I mean, like when net neutrality, yeah, like you want to talk took that away, whatever that was. People were like, ah, God yeah. damn it, do online. You, it's like, okay. do you remember when like a network would have like a good lineup of shows when you were a kid and you'd be like, dude, the family's locked down for the entire night? Yeah. Now you can have that every night of the week just with an algorithm catered to making you mad. You know True. what I mean? There'd damn, be like, there'd be like dude. entire, there'd be like three and a half years where there wasn't a solid night of television on TV. And you'd be like, yeah, I watch a show here and there. But like, dude, a solid Thursday night, you'd be locked down from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. TGIF. 
T- yeah, TJF was pretty reliable. Right? Yeah, dude, that was that was that was the king, obviously, of lineups. I mean, dude, if you put me down and watch like it was what was a Full House Urkel, uh, it was like five. The other kind of rotated, didn't they? Yeah, I think they switched around. But what, I remember what being was the like, one with Cody? Family Matt. No, no, the Family Matters Circle. Um, yeah. Step by step. Step by step. I, step by step yeah. was, was that ever right? a TJF show? That was a late TJF. I know, yeah, I don't yeah. know. It might have been. That was a little racist. It's a classic. Step by yeah. step was. A I think it got moved to a different slot eventually. When yeah. it, when it, when yeah, it kind of broke off around, but it, yeah. yeah, that was dude, that was foundational for sure. Yeah, no, you're right. There, it is funny to think like you know, rather than TV, there's just like little micro shows that float through. You your can phone watch your own feelings. On specifically the designed to like irritate you. It went from like that. It went from just like, then I do that, and now there's like, <laughs> you don't know I'm this. racist. I should kill myself. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> dude, I do. Great to, dude, Urkel's on the timeline of people coming to that conclusion. For sure. But I, I do think that's my that's my theory right now where a lot of the unrest comes from. People like – so you have like – you have rich white people who they read about like the white privilege stuff and they go like, yeah, my grandmom has been giving me like 500 bucks a month every day, every – you know, since I've yeah. been little. I guess I've had it pretty easy. And like, all right, white people, here's the new deal. Then you have like white people who like, uh, like worked in coal mines and they're like, no, I disagree. And like, shut the <laughs> fuck up. Yeah. No, your fucking life's as easy as mine and here's why – but I think now there's people who are like because of the internet, all the exposure, all the information, are like, because you, you just if you just grew up in like a Kentucky coal mining family, people probably just chucking around the N word. You're like, there's my uncle, that's how we talk. And then it was all of a sudden it was like, no, you're actually really bad. And you're like, yeah, they didn't even do the check. Like, yeah, yeah exactly. Like no, it, it was no, it was. You know, I've, I've been around places where it's just kind of like not even a you know. Yeah. Well, so it's on the dollar. Uh, you, I think you, you're realizing like, oh shit, no, yeah, I shouldn't do that. But then they look for a viable alternative, and it's just a bunch of people like, fuck you, you mother. And they're like, well, I don't want to do that either. So there's a lot of people in like a weird limbo in terms of like how they uh, do yeah, yeah. stuff. And I'm not going to make the leap because I don't like the other side. There we go. Exactly. They're like, well, yeah, I guess they have some points, but fuck, I hate those guys so mm-hmm. fucking much. You're like, actually, blah, blah, blah. so there's people who are yeah. like, I think, stuck in like a nether realm right now. They know about those guys, and they hate them too. Yeah. Who? Like the people that would bother you about opinions they know about the people who just don't like them and that's why they won't change they know that they don't really hold those values Mm -hmm. but they the idea of changing into like what the good good people are is so unappealing that they're not that they're not going to go through the personal change yeah yeah it's also kind of crazy that every everybody's represented by the minorities in 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 the situation like even in that situation you just described where the one kid was getting five hundred dollars a month from his grandma his whole entire mm-hmm. life and then the other kid comes from like a working family like most people come from working families yeah but the representation of white people are these like overprivileged white people that go out and start these fucking poc protests well not protest protesting but you know what i mean it's like and then yeah, like, they're sign wrong they're oh shit yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, just my bad my bad and then but it, then it's the other way around for for black people it's the exact mm-hmm. opposite where uh we're we're represented and and so, for one, a lot of people don't know that having the idea of what it means to be black be represented by like like hood culture, mm-hmm. like a lot of people don't know that that was a white intervention in, in our in I society. Like, it was like pro the, wrestling invented that. I think. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was the, it was like the, it the great the great migration. That's that's oh, that's yeah, when it yeah. happened, and it was like all these southern like because again there were like these uh, up north like stuffy black dudes that were like all about hard work and reading mm. and then all these southern Hulk Hogan. yeah yeah these southern <laughs> black dudes came up here and white people were like well these guys are way more entertaining yeah you know, this is like this is black this is this is what I'm doing we could this is what we what we heard about you know so it was like that that became what was all written about so it, was, it went from like Langston Hughes to you know like dudes doing the fucking shuffle or whatever yeah. it was you know it was like a, it's like that is a crazy it's a crazy thing. Yeah, it's got to suck to lose. Like, no, we got this. Look. Yeah. That'll pass. That'll, that'll be. And then, so then the, the, the here's here's the funny. So then, then white people get grandfathered into, like, racism the same exact way. Where it's like, you know, these people, these southern people come up and they're doing the dances. And, like, you know, showing off for all these, like, high society white Humping people. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> you got a bunch of French princes coming up. Basically, <laughs> Im- Im- impressing all of the rich white people. But then. You know that behavior that was happening with the black people, like the you know blackface, like the rest of white society gets lumped in with that, 
It's like, remember how remember how we used to just like let black people dance for us and we just enjoyed that? It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. We weren't all doing that. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're you know, saying. It was like, yeah. you guys were doing that. Yeah. You know? But like all of white people are lumped into that. You're talking about reverse racism. Well, the, you'll get guys who will yeah. be like. Well, well, you don't even think it's reverse racism. You just think it's racism. I, I think reverse racism is actually closer. Uh, but I gotta think I'm I'm like coming yeah. down off. No, I know what you're saying. There's like a dude uh, invented reverse racism. They, they, they treat. I'm telling you, the distinction should be if you had slaves, that should be the maximum penalty. Where it's like, because there's people who'll be like, "Look, man, we did some horrible." It's like you, your family had slaves, dude. Fuck you. Yeah. Like if you're if you were like super rich now, currently, you come from like an old generationally wealthy family. There's a huge chance you had them, bro. So it's like, you know, that's pretty nuts. If you're yeah, like, but. The, what if what if your your family had them and you don't like that they had them? <laughs> That's what I think they do, but they act. But they're trying as, to lump you. They're like, you're just like me, dude. We had them. We're white. Like, we oh, had I didn't them. have them. That's the yeah. thing. It's like you had them, dude. Yeah. Which again, it's like you know maybe we can be brothers on some realms, but we didn't both have them. Dude. Uh, are they just like they, they would? They don't want to do what it takes to like differentiate themselves. Otherwise, they don't have to. They don't. Yeah. They didn't do it. There's a there's a hard. Although campaign. I guess they do like any any bonus any like. Uh, I don't want to say the P word. I'm not saying the P word here. What? Any any like advan- advantages they had growing up in life? Oh, you do have to oh, attribute yeah, some of it to you know, sure. having human puppies. Sure, of course. <laughs> I mean, dude, imagine if it was just like a bunch of people grew all your shit, and you're just like sweet. Yeah, you changed yeah. my mind, dude. I now I don't like racism. You used to love it. I wouldn't say I loved it, but now I <laughs> definitely I will say I don't like it. I think it's fun. It's just it's low density, dude. I think it's low <laughs> density. I see the fun in it. How people are like, this is awesome. I just think it's it's low density. It's there's like yeah. fucking around because it's like when you work in a construction site. A lot of times there is like, like fucking around. So what racism. you're saying is after after like a certain point, slavery is just not funny anymore. Exactly. Yeah. It it was it got old. <laughs> the gag was up. <laughs> they played it out. Slavery got played out. The gag was up for sure. Wow. People are like, all right, enough. <laughs> we get it. <laughs> but no, it, it uh, yeah. yeah. If we're going to all send, dude, it, it is one of the things we have to completely just be yeah. like, all right, we're done with this. This is fucking so stupid. This is so stupid. Yeah. Welcome to Stoner Dads. Welcome to Stoner Dads. <laughs> it, was the, mean, it was again, the 1%. Only the 1% had slaves. Yeah, I think so. I Only think the 1% had all of the slaves. <laughs> like, 99% of the slaves. 1% of the population. <laughs> Oh my god. You think the people those arguments about slave distribution? They're like, dude. How yo, the fuck? You hogging up all the human puppies, dog. <laughs> <laughs> it is crazy. It's that like that you got thing. a human puppy mill over there. What is going on? Where are you getting all these human puppies? <laughs> well, I sure, we I'll bid on one, but <laughs> dude. I thought we I thought we got them neutered. <laughs> it is funny how that slowly spun out of control. How it was like, well, I think because slavery got abolished before it got like abolished, abolished in the United States. It got abolished earlier on in history. I think a couple times. Right. Like, different societies were like, yeah, we, we, not, we can't. Oh, yeah. And it's then like things would kind of slide down again and they'd be like, we like, doing this? This, we doing this time, guys, definitely we're not here. Yeah. No, I'm telling you, they, they've like there's been a couple of civilizations where like, yeah, no, this is fucked. We're not doing this. And then it would like reset or another country would be like, we're doing it. And they'd be, well, they're yeah. fucking doing it. What the fuck? Yeah, we don't want to get behind. <laughs> like, oh, shit. Yeah, we're, we're just get... old school. Sorry. We know you guys aren't <laughs> in race, uh, slavery. We're just, you know, we do things the old yeah, way. Yeah, they apparently got banished a couple times throughout, like, a just please get in the parts of the world. And they were just kind of like, you know what would be cool? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's what, that's what, I mean, uh, I would imagine historically, I, I, don't, I don't know all these cases you're talking about, but I would imagine it has something to do with, like, hey, we had slaves. We're crushing it now. Let's, let's stop slavery. Let's, mm-hmm. like, those other people that are trying to come up. Yeah. Let's end their main source of everything. Well, they I think they wouldn't end it, but they would just set up like rigid caste systems where like they would be like, all right, nobody's a slave, but you fucking suck. And you'll always suck and you kinda have to do what I want, but you can live wherever you want, it doesn't matter. That's what that's how India handled it forever. They just had like you were just born into a caste where like if you even I think if you got caught trying to learn about uh like there was like the Brahmin was like the top dude, and then there was like it was the warrior to- all, bathrooms all the way down. Yeah, all the way down. And like, if you were trying to Ridic- read the religious the text, knowledge. they would they would like burn your eyes out. Be like, Whoa. dude, you're a fucking peasant. Your brain can't Ooh. handle this shit. So, and then you would just that would just be your you'd be like, we're peasants. So, you know, I mean, wouldn't wouldn't a, a greater punishment let them like read the text and have their brain melt? 
you know, rather than yeah, like yeah. burn their eyes. That's the punishment. We, <laughs> we make a distinction between your soul and your body. <laughs> <laughs> You'll lose your mind. But yeah, man. Fucking rules. They were just trying to stop like the prophecy of Aladdin. Like that one peasant that rose above and ruled them all. And apparently they say that's where that's where the uh That's why they outlawed like charismatic monkeys. You could never monkey sidekick because they were like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I don't want any Aladdin going on down. What is this? Apparently all the, the most successful Chinese dynasties were peasant revolutions. Yeah. Han Dynasty. Peasant revolutions. Pretty tight. Dude, and they're learning to use their farming tools as weapons. <laughs> That's yeah. probably awesome. Well, the first dude to just spin a rake around like because he was bored. Someone yeah. had to invent spinning rakes around like they were ninja toys, ninja oh, yeah. weapons. I mean, dude, you would just wow. go, you would just be like getting taxed hard as fuck all the time. Yeah. And one day to be like, yo, this sucks. And like you talk to a bunch one of friends. One day you're just watching you your just, nine-year-old and he's in the field just like. <laughs> yeah, you were just, the guy would be like, hey, where's that rice? Whoa, and you'd have dude. four people waiting, kill him. You yeah. kill the other lord. And then you go to the castle and like, yeah, you guys are dead. And they'd be like, oh, shit. God damn it. <laughs> We're in charge. What do you want to do? And they would just do the same exact yeah. thing. They'd well, like, we're not allowed to own weapons. Like, people should give us stuff, actually. Yeah. Wow. But that's not what I came here to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I got, if I got us off track a little bit. Yeah. I'm I get gonna, a little, I mean, you know. I'm going to piss my Oh, face. yeah, we're in the middle of curing racism. Yeah. I forgot. Yeah, should we just let's wrap it up? Yeah, let's wrap Yeah. Let's all piss Tim Burley's pants. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I, I'm my money is on not a soul ever hearing this. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck's going on with this one, but we might have this might be episode zero. Throw dude. this into the yeah, throw episode this into not the, episode not luck finding this. Yeah. I, I like it, man. I think uh it's a good no, idea. No, not because I didn't like it. I loved it. Yeah. I just don't I don't want I'm, anyone I'm, to have I'm this. I'm a I'm a hung jury on it, dude. I don't know. I hope it's good. I can't tell. Yeah, Bro, I, would, I, would love to I, see I don't care edits. whether or not it's good. True. I just want to do something. True, true. <laughs> this is uncharted territory yeah. for sure. That's that, that's something someone very untalented says. So I just want to I just want to do stuff. That's all. Now you got to keep that going, man. I'm always doing stuff. Yeah. But yeah, this was an experience for sure. Yeah. How how, how long were we recording? Uh, I'm going to say 18 minutes. No, it's been like <laughs> two hours probably. I'm guessing three. Two th- 2.30. 2.30? No fucking way. Yeah. 2.30? Oh, no. And we went way too long. Yeah. Definitely get 15 minutes out of this. Yeah, we <laughs> chop up about 15. Put yeah. it no, no, no. We put the entire thing out, but we chop it up and put it in, like, Different. scattered order. That would be a good idea. And then idea. we let people get, like, their preferred listen order, like, the preferred cut. It's a good idea. Director's cut just has the N-word in the beginning. <laughs> like, <it's> like <laughs> <the> runner. <laughs> or final cut or whatever. I don't know. All right. Thanks. We're done. Thank Where you. are we starting? Let's start. Let's start. Let's, start. Let's get. All right. We'll cut one now. Let's run this thing over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can I can flip it now. I just hit a few more. Oh, Tony just throw me off. <laughs>